recording jesus all right there's a clip of it if you want to see uh johnny um it's a recent clip if someone wants to grab the clip of me uh splitting and microing the units against the explosive breach or whatever um you can check it out in the clips section so uh the recording has begun so if you're watching this later on vod or youtube or whatever um, I've already explained it to chat, but basically we've done tons of 500% no pause runs on the stream. So we've done lots of RimWorld runs, man, dozens of completed RimWorld runs with um, different things to make it harder. But 500% losing is fun. No pausing ever. It doesn't pause even during trade menus. And a lot of people come in and they ask me over the years, do you think you could do the same thing with no kill boxes at all? There's no command for it. It's, it will be in the actual um, clips section of of twitch within the last two weeks no command for it so we are going to try that we're going to do a 500 percent uh losing is fun no pause and i might um lessen my restrictions if it turns out to be too much or too hard or too boring or something but what we're going to start out with is we're going to do naked brutality set to tribal so a single pawn naked nothing and it's going to be set to tribal uh, i might end up going with actual tribal if it's too crazy with just one because we won't be able to use trap tunnels so no kill boxes, no trap tunnels, all none of that stuff. Um, and we are going to make a pretty good ideology to help us with it. So no mad runs. I find them pretty boring. Yeah. Some people like them. Um, I'm not a big fan. Uh, Sigur Rosa, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Rosa. Very much appreciated. Man, already. Thank you, Sigur Rosa. Um, so we're going to do um, tribal naked brutality. Let's change this so we don't have to wait we have one down here all right that works that works tribal naked brutality so basically naked brutality uh but set to tribal start meaning we have tribal research and stuff we're gonna go with uh no pause of course um commitment mode custom we're gonna change this to losing is fun which is baseline 220 percent yeah i think naked tribal brutality is gonna be really tough with it yeah of your pawns will be disease parasited that's yeah that's one reason i'm i am going to start out with um super immune so we'll try it if it's too hard i will lessen the difficulty a little bit as we go as far as those rules but we'll see we're going to bump this up to 500 percent everything else is the default losing it's fun uh black aussie thank you <laughs> for uh continuing to give some from l thank you black mom says i'm crazy i am crazy uh, we're going to do, if you want to do the exact same seed as me. What is the half speed enabled thing? I didn't even really think about it. That's newly added. What does that do exactly? Let me know. Yes, bugs will be on. It's going Boston. <laughs> not starting to juggle. No, I'm going to give myself a decent map, but not a, I also want to do a flat map because it would be. If I say no kill boxes and then I go inside a mountain and there's only one entrance, that kind of... There's literally a half speed on some mods. Oh, I'm going to turn that off then, yeah. Thank you. I didn't even know. Well, I know what half means, but I didn't know, like, does it go to it automatically or you can just set it? But anyway. Should I get brutality tribal because you're sufficiently masochistic? So here's a seed. VS, all capitals. We're going to do a population set to max, and that's the only thing we're going to change. <laughs> Trolls chat if you keep correcting you again. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be a crazy room world playthrough. Really crazy. Uh, so I'm actually going to make a slightly bigger map than I usually use because we need that that wiggle room. What's half of half? No. Uh, so 325 by 325. Let's go to the Black Viper Forest. I want to be near a bunch of these uh, settlements. So near a bunch of these settlements. Um, and I want a pretty decent map. So, um, not like too close to them. Maybe right there in that pocket. Maybe in the pocket. Maybe over here. There's a good pocket. So we're pretty close to like, Hey, Lots of trading. Anybody want some cornbread? Those take five people to do them. Yeah, they don't just work sometimes. That you have to queue it up. All right. All right. So here's the map. Um, 
me make sure Exclamation Seed is working here. So if you wanna play if you wanna play along on the same seed. So versus 30%, max population 325, 21.74 degrees north no chicken, by 31.59 degrees east. All right. Let's see what we got. So we are going to do um, a fluid ideology so that we can, uh, you know. The Q is a conveyor belt of death. Good those of you that are tuning into this later on YouTube or whatever, don't worry. Those those voice lines have a cooldown and a requirement, so you don't have to. It's like I bet there's new people to the channel that at this point that are going to be like on YouTube. It's like, oh my god, I would like this if it wasn't for this announcer talking all the time. No, it's it's not all the time. Usually. I'll turn the stream around. All right. Uh, so I'm actually just going to load one of the good ones that we've done before. So, you know what? We'll go with a min-maxers. This is definitely a min-max run. It's a Christmas miracle. Let's be like, um... Let's be... Let's be like pinky purple. Let's change our icon from the min-max one. What do we want our icon to be? We'll have these hearts here. That way people are less likely to attack Remind us. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, so fluid ideology is going to allow us to hungry, cheesy, about to snack. Fluid ideology is going to allow us to change our ideology as we go. Let's go, Nunya. Welcome in, Chaos. Welcome back. Um, and again, we are tribal in brutality, so even with a very fast research, it's still going to be slower than a normal research. So, dye all your pawns clothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty stressful. Let's also change our style for this one. Why not? I haven't been uh, Tekka's style in a while. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Kill pawns whose favorite color aren't pink. So we're going to have research increased. Again, we start as tribal research, though, so it's going to still be slower than normal. No, I'm not getting an, going to get annoyed. I just uh, I do feel like it's going to actually make the video later on have people tune away on the recording, which is, is not good. But you know what? They can skip ahead to where the actual run starts. There's going to be timestamps, so... Uh, executing prisoners were changed, not give developing points. That's okay. I, I wasn't, I wasn't like abusing that one anyway or anything. It's so that's fine. Yes, cannibalism this time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, insect meat loved, intense bigotry, respected if guilty, execution. Cannibalism is accepted. Blind is horrible. Corpses don't care. Fungus is despised. Physical love, spouse only. Um, it can cause some problems being free and open or whatever. Uh, nutrient paste, disgusting. Scarification, horrible. Skull spikes, desired. Slavery, acceptable. Clothing, no rules. Um, and we can harvest organs. So we're going to start out with... Um, I guess we'll just start with Supremacist. Actually, probably should start out with Proselytizer. Um, but that's okay. We can add it pretty soon. No ovens, no. Nothing like that. <laughs> that's right. They can skip ahead. Um... And do you want to leave drum party? I think I'm just going to do all social. So let's do that. Social, social, drum party. Okay. Because we're going to min-max a little bit. We have to for a run like this. So um, so we'll edit it. And we can change these later on. In the beginning, I'm going to have them all be to gain recruits. We're going to really need to get... Um, we're gonna get, need to get new pawns quickly, but then also we're really gonna need to sacrifice people in this one. It's gonna be really important to sacrifice people. Okay, um, and then since we have um, since we have fluid ideology, I think later I will I will switch them over to um, psi focus gain. Everything else is just uh, whatever. It's fine. All right, I think we're ready. Have I done a run like this before? I've done everything in this run aside from the no kill box part. The game were purely detrimental. Um, something like that, yeah. But it, it's allowed over there again now. It was only banned because it was unrated. Unrated things are unable, you're, you're not supposed to buy them. Let's go to Ariana. Should be an option to convert pawns automatically outside of prison. Uh, I'm sure there's a mod for it, so yeah, I don't know. I have no opinion on that one. Done everything except for the no kill box. All right, all right, let's go. 
And if this turns out to be really crazy, then we'll we'll edit it. Okay, so we do have a mod called um, uh, Random Plus. So what Random Plus allows you to do is set some parameters in here and then hit randomize. And it will literally roll until it hits what you set up. So it's not like prepare carefully. And prepare carefully, you just make the pawn and you can make them be uh, gods. You can make them be things that you can't roll. This mod instead just rolls until you hit that so you don't roll past it. Um, I don't know how many times I've been like, oh my goodness. I need a good construction person. And I click random, 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 random. And I get in this habit of clicking random and then it, I random past a godly pawn that has construction. So uh, we're going to not do that. So what do we care about in this one? Let's make sure um, we have decent shooting, um, decent construction, decent cooking, decent planting, a little bit of medical. I think that's all I'm going to, I'm not going to go full out with this. Uh, and then the age restriction uh, and all that. So um, we don't want them older than like 25 so that we, uh, anyway, other than that, um, let's see. Oh, I can just do this. So we have one of these set up. So, uh, I think we had one set up for melee. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. I think that's fine. Uh, no health conditions. People no. problems. Okay, I think, uh, let's see how that does. Let's see how it does. So see, it just rolled until we hit that. So this is probably the one we'll go with. We're out of the bat. Very nice. Who is that? Uh, River, thank you for continuing the gift sub. Thank you, River. So we are going to start out super immune so that we don't have to worry about an early disease because it's already going to be super hard in the beginning anyway. Uh, but look, that is an amazing roll and we didn't even have to use something like... Yeah, so we would have had to reroll over 3,000 times to get this normally, but it is something you could eventually hit, right? And if we did that again down here, so it's going to roll for these things. Huh. I'm going to go with this one. I don't need to, uh, I'm not going to, this one's probably going to die early anyway, so it's like, it's like whatever. Okay, all right. Here we go. So our goals are going to be a little bit different because I won't be able to get a trap tunnel, but we do need to get a trap up early that we can kite them into. And we need to get a weapon. Oh boy. Don't get too attached to this character. We are not going to be alive for long. Here we go. No kill box. Uh, Garros. Thank you for the, using the Twitch Prime also. Thank you, Garros. Very much appreciated. Thank you for the six months. Okay, there's the anima tree. There's some rich soil. All right. Let's go ahead and turn on repair. Turn off automatic home zone. Uh, rich soil. It's it's pretty close to the anima tree. Zone. We're just going to do a little bit of rice to start with here. Go ahead and get that set as uh, rice. And then we got some berries around. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, a little bit of medicine. Harvest that. Uh, we're going to use this until we build our own. Already a table in there. That's really nice. So we'll just patch it in with wood. We need to get in there quickly. So. Okay. While he's starting that, let's go ahead and go into work and change this. Firefighting, patient, doctor, bed rest, I'll control myself, especially on naked brutality. Um, cooking is a one. Construction is a two. Growing and planting is a one. It's a thing, tailoring, art, crafting is a four. Hall two. Clean two. Research. Uh, we have really bad research, which is not good. Captain Crunch Berries. Let's go ahead and pineapple. Fleeing noble event at the beginning. I haven't seen it in two to three runs. Um... Don't, I don't think so. I don't know though. Cause I usually betray the empire right away. So I don't, I pretty much never see it. 
Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna claim these, because... We already have the wealth from them anyway, so you actually start with all the wealth that's on the map. So if we go to, uh, statistics, we actually have 12,000 wealth just from crap on the map in the beginning. For a certain number of pawns or wealth to get. Okay, now let's go into schedule. Uh, we'll do meditation for like the last three of the day. And he did have that, right? Yeah, okay. Miscellaneous. Uh, meditation spot. There we go. Also, before I forget, I'm going to remove a roof area from the tree. Remove roof area so that we don't ever build over that tree. All right. So, structure. We're just going to close this in for now. I just, I just need a, I need a home. We're also tribal naked brutality, so we won't be able to make a bed or anything like that. Base again with no kill box, something completely different. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I haven't done a no kill box run before, especially on this difficulty. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna wing it as I go. Seems overly, overly cautious. Don't see why it's this thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to start out with a stool. And a sleeping spot. Okay. And Randy can actually attack on the first day, so we're gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a trap. It's not gonna be there for long, so I'm okay with the first trap being there. Corpse, ah uh, yes, they can eat corpses, yeah. Village or a big base. Uh, a big base, yeah. <laughs> With this kind of run, yeah. Tribals have to learn to make beds, yep. Yep. Let's go ahead and equip a piece of wood, so at least we have something to knock them in the head with. Finish the, uh... The stool there, and then we will... Go to eat berries there. Finding starts without kill box. This is a big cross. So you can kite enemies around there. I, I I have some ideas, yeah. I'm not going into it, like, blindly. So I haven't watched anyone else do it. And No Pause makes it... We were talking about it on Discord. I wasn't the one who actually brought it up. If you've never tried No Pause, um, it, it's really hard to explain. And I I would I would say try out No Pause sometime. Try out, like, a few battles of No Pause. It's actually... It, it's really crazy doing it, how much it uh, it impacts things. Like, I never really, really would have thought about it until I really got into it. But uh, it's going to be, even things like that. Kiting is going to be extremely hard with no paws. No paws, can't use animals. <laughs> Not those paws. So yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I think we'll probably lose several times, but that's okay. We might end up switching to tribal. It's going to be very difficult starting with uh, Nick Brutality. That's one reason why I went with the Super Immune. Try it, don't hate yourself. <laughs> No pause. Good game. It, it's really fun, though. Well, I mean, I guess fun is subjective, right? So, I find it fun. But yeah, it's not going to be as simple as, as just kiting around. Because kiting is very hard on no pause. Uh, let's finish this wall before his first night. APM is like 10. <laughs> All right, he has a bed area on the first night. Let's take a look at this. Now we can actually kind of look at the map while he's uh, getting some things done here. All right, um, so let's see. The animatry is pretty decent. It's, it's pretty decent. Yeah, it's not right in the middle, but it's, it's, uh, it's not far away. And we kind of have this. Breacher is going to break through that, though. Let's see our close geysers. We actually have two close geysers to the animatry. Also very good. One on one kiting, yeah. Or like two on four or something. But once it gets to like 200 tribals against 12 people, it's going to be... It's going to be nuts. Whoa, we got four steel deposits right next to us. 
You're watching the Arco Nexus? That one was fun, yeah. That was our first ideology uh, bit there. Steal over here. Turn a turrets this run. Uh, probably not like the Igor run, though. We got an Ancient Danger down here. There's not... There's a couple of components that are close by, but... There's not a lot of exposed components on this map, unfortunately, and the ones that are exposed are right up next to the edge, so. Oh, man. But, you know what? We're not going to be needing components for a little while anyway. All right, so while he's doing some other stuff, let's go ahead and set up some zones. So we're going to have inside walls work um that's probably good for now uh we'll we'll go ahead and make an animal zone we don't have any animals but presumably we will eventually Uh, let's see what our building allowance is here. It's good, actually. There's no uh, liquid stopping us. Let's go on, Dev. The beginning of a new kind of playthrough. Yeah, welcome in. Let's go on, White Death. All right, so let's start thinking about how we want to do this. We're going to put our base right here. Uh, an outer wall is going to be pretty important. We're not going to have geothermal for a while, so we don't have to worry about that quite as much yet. We want a really long outer wall to start with, and we want to double it up. So... You've never seen me play RimWorld Life? <laughs> this is a crazy run to join in on. Let's see. Seven. So we'll still do a room around the anima tree. That way people will come in and ask me if it's fine to build around the anima tree. What? That never happens. You never have to explain the anima tree. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So there's going to be the room around the animatry so we can, um, you know, meditate even when there's like animal attack or something like that. Let's go ahead and put a stockpile zone in here. And uh, we'll throw a dumping zone out here. Okay, so we'll start the base out kind of as a long base. Um, just to get some some kiting room. A new no burn tunnels, no trap tunnels, no. Yourself. We are building an army. Join it, Derek. Uh, you gotta search for the map. You gotta search for a good map. Neff! Neff, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you, Neff. Very much appreciated. Man, we've had so many gift subs today already. Thank you, Neff. Uh, much love to Neff, also. It's one of the channel's top three slogans. It's fine. Level uh, yeah, but it only reduces it by a maximum of 30%. So, reducing the side focus gain and the... Gr Anima growth gain by th just a maximum of minus 30% is well worth saving all the hours walking to it, as well as um, keeping it safe and keeping your people safe. Uh, stuff, thank you for the tier three. Thank you, Stuff. It's crazy, man. 53 months. Uh, much love to Stuff as well. Thank you, Stuff. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. So. Um, we will start cooking the little bit of berries that we have, and, um, we'll, we'll get a fueled stove going. I'm probably gonna do a fueled stove really soon, so I'm just gonna start out with the torch in here. That's good enough for now. And then, I'm gonna put a couple more of these out so we can kite. Okay. And we'll chop some wood. Really careful chopping around that anima tree, please. But yeah, it's, it's very much, in my opinion, worth it to protect people in the tree. Let's go on eight. Uh, or Hecarim. Hecarim. Since the dawn of time. Burn tunnels. I almost always use burn tunnels, yeah. Yeah, the 30, minus 30%, it caps at minus 30%, and that's nothing compared to just the walk time. Yeah, it's super worth it. Hear the anima tree stream? No, 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 no. No screaming. 
oldest fellowship expands. Uh, Rolls. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Rolls. Man, much appreciated. Much love to Rolls, Stuff, and Neff. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were searching for a good, well, as good as a flat map can be, so. <laughs> 13 by 13 is smaller than the internal border. It, it, that doesn't really matter, no. You think we're gonna ever have enough people in here to fill this entire place or to, or enough grass to go past, and the grass would actually grow past anyway. Sounds good. Thank you, R-squared. Have fun. No, it, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Right, let's get these back up, or get these up, rather. Which DLC do I like more? If I had to pick only one to play with, I'd probably pick Royalty, because my favorite part of the game, or one of my favorite parts, and the challenge thing that I, I add is almost always um, combat-related challenges, and that adds more to combat than ideology, but I, it's really hard to say. It would be very hard to go without either of them at this point. So. The thing with jigs by where they meditate to make up. You can, yeah. You can actually build, I think it's three of the large shrines, or you can bring in the uh, the anima stones from tribals. And it offsets the um, psi focus gain reduction, yeah. All right, so let's start thinking about this uh, initial outer wall. We can always make it better afterwards, but 13, 13. Um, I might, yeah, I'm just gonna make it long to start, to start with. 13, 13. And then where's the... Hmm, I don't wanna do this to start with. So we really need a Your double outer wall. Later on, we can expand it, but... 20,000 wealth to add 30% uh, anima focus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little, a little crazy. They're very high high wealth, the uh, anima stones. Uh, FCRP, thank you for the three months. Thank you, FC. Also much appreciated. Much loved, FCRP. Gotta make sure I get it right. It's a little bit longer than I really wanted to start with, but you know, this uh, for this kind of run, we're gonna have to do stuff like that. Then we can chop this up and then expand on it later. Uh, let's take advantage of that wall. Let's steal. That should give us enough wiggle room, I think. They were like, it's not even. It's all right. We're going to expand it out further and further. So, 16. There. I'll, I'll at least make the, the drawing for the 16 so that those sides are eventually the same. Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, now we uh, wait and see what Randy has in store for us. We want to get a fueled stove up and a research bench, and then we want to start trying to recruit some people. So hopefully we'll get the uh, Betray the Empire quest pretty soon. But, uh, yeah. all right. So a fueled stove and a research bench to start with. Uh, this is steel up here. We got some mining nearby. I didn't check how good our character is at mining. Whoops. But I'll take a look at that too. Mining is a three, so not great. A ring city. Uh, we're doing fluid ideology this run, so we're starting with supremacy. Most of these saved for now. That's right. All right. So that is marble, yeah. I guess I want to leave that part. I was just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of it, but probably shouldn't. Because we can actually use that as part of the wall anyway, which is uh, is nice. Okay. All right, uh, let's go ahead and micromanage him a little bit. 
We're going to do the fueled stove first. How's our rice? 40%, so another couple days, we're good. Well, let's get one more trap set up for kiting. So this versus hides out in the bushes. That's right. Uh, we went with that because it's one of the ones that allows us to eat people without worrying. We definitely want to eat people. So we already have food poisoning, which is not good. That's what, another reason why I want to get some of those uh, initial outer traps set up. So some we're going to have to, to deal with, obviously. Um, if we get a, a raider right now, we might be in trouble. Okay. We'll go ahead and let him repair these. At least gives us... Uh, a little well he actually started out really well or uh, really high with construction so we probably don't necessarily need those but you know whatever it's actually kind of hoping rainy would send an earliest raid so we can get a weapon but uh yeah got pretty unlucky with early food poisoning it's like uh what is it four percent from berries is it two or four percent uh it's two percent so pretty unlucky of course he's eating berries twice a day so He's getting those uh, multiple rolls in. Chopping noises. He's eating pretty slow, yeah. Let him rest. Let him do his thing. Early illness. That's one reason why on this one I decided to start as super immune. So if we're going to do um, naked tribal brutality with this difficult playthrough, I'm absolutely going to min-max um, what I can because I can't min-max defenses. So we do have him as super immune just in case... Um, which should allow him to get through with self-tinned early diseases, unless we get really unlucky. He does only have a four in medical, but vomited into that urn and then destroyed it. Where'd the, where'd the vomit go? Here's some rolling thunder noises or math fire. On yours or on mine? I don't, I don't, I don't hear it. <laughs> See a pawn stat? Sure. This is our starting pawn. Very good at negative brutality starting pawn. Can we make human jerky yet? Not until we have humans. Uh, I think you. Is it? Is that a pronounce as a double L or an actual Y? So. Very good starting pawn. Alrighty. So, we're going to go in here, cook some meal, do until we have X. We're going to do just three and pause until we have one. Also, only want to make one at a time right now. We're going to clear the ingredients and put meat and animal products only. We don't have a freezer and we won't for a long time. So what this allows us to do is it will use the stuff that will uh, deteriorate or rot sooner. So if we have meat or things like that that's going to rot very quickly within a couple of days, they'll make simple meals out of that. If we don't, then they'll default back to just normal. Only 2%. Yeah. Yeah. Ready hates you. Uh, don't take it personal. He hates everyone. He hates everyone, so it's fine. Alright, let's keep an eye. Uh, malnourished, so... Let's grab some more berries. The rice will be in before super long, and then we'll be in good shape. Visitors, let's see here. It's a Doctor Strange, 56 year old, bloodlust. Okay. Eat the visitor, uh, I think he would probably kill us. He's got 12 melee, we have like six. We have no weapon. I have a log. I have a log. Let's see, rice will probably be in tomorrow. Oop. Going for a walk. I guess I'll go ahead and throw down uh, Hoopstone before I forget about it. For future people, a gift, what did you leave us? 77 silver, hey. Uh, 2%. 
per, you know, per eating, yeah. So it's not like multiplied if they're eating eight, it's not a 16%. 77, free wealth. God. He really got lost in the multiverse. I have a stick, how about the... It's, a, it's an entire log. All right. Uh, we're going to micromanage him a little bit in the beginning. So let's go ahead and get this uh, research going. Research table, I should say. And then we're basically going to sit tight. I'll get the initial couple rooms down, and then we're going to probably start doing festivals. Your steadfast loyalty Planks are underrated weapons in Project Zomboid. Holding my wood again. Happy about it. That's all right. Uh, Snow Fox, thank you for the five months. Five months already. Thank you, Snow Fox. Very much appreciated. Meal color varies now on the ingredients. Yep. They didn't used to, but uh, a patch a couple months ago changed that. What's my current fear for the run? Um, It's just the trying to kite things with no pause, honestly. In this very, this specific moment, I'm not really worried about anything. Like, I'm pretty sure that we could take out a one-on-one -on -one right now. Yeah. So, that's been, uh, been a few months back. But, get distracted mid-fights. So, yeah, you don't need a mod anymore for that, luckily. Probably gonna turn him off of raw food. Let's go ahead and do that actually. So let's go into this. I also want to set for. Uh, let's turn our medical defaults. So you can go to health and click this defaults, and you can turn these here. I like doing this so that if we have like a prisoner show up or whatever, and they have a cut, we're not like rushing to go get our best medicine and wasting it, or just wasting time going and getting medicine. So I'll do it on an individual basis. We'll do medical care, but no medicine. Start with, and we'll do that for ourselves also. And turn on self-tinned. Uh, in addition, we're going to go down to quests. We're going to set reward preferences. I'm going to turn all this off right now. Um, this is another thing I've noticed. If you turn these off, you will not get that quest for the early um, royal, whatever, running from the animal, the royal in need. I, I don't get that one if I turn off except honor. But I'm turning all these off so that we get monetary rewards instead of reputation. That's right. Would you like some glitter weld, glitter weld medicine for your rabbit bites? You can have all of the assignments saved as default. That would be nice. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go ahead and have him make that bench. The priority system. Your pawns mostly never like to follow the priorities you set them. Yeah, so the important thing is just to remember it goes left to right. So how it does this is it le it reads left to right. And it goes one to four. So it will start on the left. It'll go through looking for ones. So it's going to check every tick or whatever. Every time the character needs to check on what they should do, it's going to say, all right, the first one is firefight. Is there a fire? No. All right, second is, is patient. Do I need to, um, you know, be, be a patient right now, be tended to? No. What's the next one? Doctor. Do I need to doctor anyone? No. And it's going to go through all the ones. Once it hits the end, it's going to start over with two and go through again, three, and then four. So now it is important to know that some jobs uh, take longer. And so, for instance, if they don't have time to, um, like, research or you can't force research, whatever, or they're not zoned to be allowed to go to that job, they, you know, they, they won't do it. What do buildings do to the anima tree? It reduces the psi focus gain and the anima grass growth speed by a maximum of 30% reduction. Uh, Juicy Frankie, the reason the Twitch Prime here also. Thank you, Frankie. Much appreciated. What is the cleanliness in here? Oh, it's it's uh, over negative two. So if cleanliness in a room is worse than negative two. You can actually get dirty cooking area. Um, food poisoning. We don't we don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and assign cleaning higher up. And we also need to get rid of the floor. I could just go ahead and start doing the next building. Gotta love Twitch names. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we can build a stone, so screw it. I'll I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and get this started. I kind of wanted another pawn before I did it, but it's all right. Never knew it went from left to right. Yeah, left to right and left to right one, left to right two, left to right three, left to right four. I think if you go in here, um, into the work tab, like, I guess this isn't um, super visible, but... It shows here, left side, higher priority, right side, lower, and then priority one is done first, priority four is done last, but yeah, that that's how it works. All right, our rice is in, which is excellent. Uh, we need about 15 plots of rich soil rice to feed a single colonist on, um, on simple meals forever. So we're actually fine with this amount. Um, so I am going to leave it as that until we start getting a second pawn, then we'll we'll throw down some more. Sign to carry some herbal medicine. No. Nah, it's okay. Mad rat. Okay, that's our first event. I was hoping for a raider, not a rat, but you know, whatever. Hit that one out there. Good. Okay. Uh, I want a raider so we can get a weapon. Look at all those people entering the queue. <laughs> Roll, but you don't have ideology yet. He was yelling at you. Sir, I'm just working from left to right. <laughs> Let's go on, Bella. Welcome back. I'm hoping that we get the um, Betray the Empire quest soon. Soon. Let's get that back up. All right. And wait for him to do his thing. Spent 100,000 on entries. You know how it works though, right? If you get pulled once, another mad rat. If you get pulled once, those are all gone. Because <laughs> it's a raffle system now. gets it. If not, that would be terrible luck. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Ranks is pay to win. Alright, we need to get that other trap back up. Welcome back. Maybe I should have started as tribal just so we have um, some real raids to deal with right off the bat, but, you know. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Pickles, thank you for the resub. Two months. Thank you, Pickles. Also much appreciated. Made a different sound. I think the first might have been minor event, so get major. Uh, we can actually check. Uh, it both says local. I think that's, uh, just animal insanity. Single animal insanity. Yeah, yeah. So, it's single animal insanity. All right. Yeah, they're both minor, yeah. So no major events yet. Are you trying to lick people? Stop, Ricks. Is it possible? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Let's go on, Marla. You got 400,000 points. You're fine. Shadow's asking if anyone wants a gift sub. Almost everyone might be already gift subbed. I'm not sure. There's been so many, which I'm very appreciative of. 
Wait, Pesky Phoenix doesn't have one anymore. Thank you, Shiloh. Freaking squirrel. <laughs> Let's go into Worst Gamer. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and make this. Us or die, master. Uh, Shiloh, thank you for the gift sub. It's stinky slime. <laughs> thank you, Shiloh. <laughs> Which creature we're going to do forever. Um, and we're going to do everything aside from... Uh, no, we're going to do everything. We're going to do everything. You're in an ad. Ads, yeah. I don't know. Twitch is getting even worse. If you haven't been here while well, I've said it before, definitely don't use ad blockers that work on Twitch. I'm supposed to tell you, or I'm supposed to not tell you about ad blockers that work on Twitch. Definitely don't look into Pi Hole. That's P I H O L E. Pi Hole. Don't do that. You'll be stealing literal tens of cents from me every month. Terrible thing to do. Uh, also, don't look for U Block Origin update that blocks Twitch ads. That would be terrible. That's a U, just the letter U. Um, and then there's also an, an extension, a browser extension, I think that's literally just called. Um, something like ad blocker for Twitch or something. So don't look for that either. That would be, that'd be awful. How could you do such a thing? Don't do it. Again, that's P-I-H-O-L-E or the letter U block. I have to spell it out specifically so that you won't search for it correctly. A horrible colds. Put you to sleep in a good way. <laughs> uh, thanks, Doomquill. Sorry, you have a cold. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He will join us or die, Master. All right. Crop was about to come in. Cold snap. Feels bad. The ad blocker butchers and eats another human in the world. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, Randy. Don't be sleepy at the beginning. I really need a raid so I can get some weapons and stuff. <laughs> We should eventually get the uh, Betray the Empire quest, at least, so... We'll, uh... We will Betray the Empire. It might... It's gonna be... Scary. We'll re-ally them, of course, but... We will be Betraying the Empire. I also might end up using longer-range weapons this time to start out with. I usually use heavy SMGs as my first go-to. They're a little bit better for, for bad shooters and assault rifles, but I might go with assault rifle, just for the kite ability. Randy! Attack we are, that's right. How's it going, Cloud? Unicycle, welcome in. And granted, we are still very, very early in, but... <laughs> Alright, let's get some more of those trees chopped down here. Um, there's a good batch of them. Go ahead and clear out some of that rich soil. <laughs> Chain shotguns are extremely good. I really like them. They're one of my favorite weapons in the game, but they're not great for kiting, yeah. I'm going to need things that are good for kiting. Assault rifles are good for kiting. We're going to really look for uh, trigger happy pawns also. In fact, I might should have tried to get a trigger happy as my starter. Um, trigger happy shooting specialist with snipers will be incredible for this run. Absolutely godly. Yeah, imagine us having like 15 trigger happy uh, shooting specialist snipers. There, <laughs> there we go. But yeah, chain shotgun kill setups are really awesome and they're really fun to use, but we're not allowed to really do that. Lots of ambushing chains can work. 
Yeah, that's true. If we have like jump packs and uh, people to melee lock, that can still work in this one, but we're doing fluid ideology for this uh, playthrough. Right now, we only have supremacy. Ever done a tiny? Yes, I have. Exclamation. We did a map that the entire map was this size. Did the entire thing on tribal. Uh, tried to launch a ship. Exclamation tiny. We'll get you the playlist. Exclamation tiny. It's an old run. A really old run, like three years ago, but it's just exclamation tiny. It's a lot of fun. I need to do one. 500% uh, didn't exist back then, so I did what was, uh, what was it called back then? Merciless, which was 220%. Uh, transport pod, we have a paralytic abasia. All right. Cycling dull, fast learner, research, crafting, construction. Huh. Um, I think I might just let them. I mean, they're pretty good. At, I mean, well, they're not natural. They're only 21, no health issues other than paralytic abasia. Man, oh man. Um, fast learner, burning passion, crafting. Should probably take them for our um, weapon producer later. Oh man. And you know, if they get uh, if they get kidnapped in the meantime, then better them than us. All right, we'll accept him. We have to convert them, so I'm gonna put them in a prison. Um, we'll just name it after the, the run. Okay, I mean, you got a club out of it. But yeah, the Beijing will go away. It's actually a good colonist. In a normal run, I'd be super happy with it uh, in general. This is all very, very good. Um, Great roles on here. Crafting and construction both benefit from the production specialist. Fast learner, amazing. Cycle deaf is, is good overall. I wish they were um, tribal and not cycle deaf. That would be ideal, but they are uh, they're really good. So, let's say the end of a tree when you spend your entire life making components. <laughs> That's true. All right. Um, get this done, and we'll we need to turn them into a prisoner and convert them because uh, uncomfortable. Whatever. Whatever. kind of a downer to keep them fed zero work for a month or so yeah sometimes you get lucky and even without good medicine it just runs out pretty quickly but yeah more benevolent rimworld overlord sinister tired your poor your catatonic yearning to be enslaved and converted to our way of thinking <laughs> yeah he's a really good pawn overall i just gotta be oh my god toast is joined oh no um randy's really trying to get us some big raids before we even have weapons. I mean, even that one's pretty good. But uh, I can't take you right now. Sorry. I'll take your clothing and your knife. I'll take your clothing and your knife. Could you actually die closer to the butcher table? I'd appreciate it. I need to get his uh, room finished so that we can get a mood buff. In fact, I'm also gonna make him not go far away, I think. No, I'm gonna leave this. Die, toast. Good riddance. Human toast. <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy. Oh, 
All right, let's get this done. Nobody loves you, Toast. Especially Mom. Oh. What, Toast? Excuse me. That's a beat. That's a beat. Oh, they're bleeding now because they're missing a friggin' leg and a toe. <laughs> so. Maybe they weren't bleeding enough before, but they are now. Don't tell they're gone. <laughs> no promises there. But we will have a sacrifice, which is uh, going to help for sure. So. Goodbye, Toast. We hardly knew you. All right, let's uh, bury them in our secret sauce. See you, Toast. Okay. Need to kill another human so we can get a bedroll. Any deaths yet? No. Nope. That's the one good thing about doing naked brutality at the start is we have a pretty chill start overall um, instead of doing tribal, which I really thought about doing tribal, and I'm, I might end up still doing one death so far. It's toast. <laughs> Starvation. First thoughts, yeah, we will arrest the Abasia guy, don't worry. Toast, you won't be missed. Is the Abasia guy good? He is, yeah. They are really good. Look at that. Fast learner, crafting, construction, intellect. So good. My guy was getting unhappy because the the person that was paralyzed didn't believe the same thing as him. We're sweaty. Awful bedroom. Yeah, we'll get it fixed as soon as you get this wood done. Set up for the genetic rim reboot. Uh, thank you, Veggie right? Hopefully your run goes well. Really hated that toast guy. <laughs> Or toast. Psychic Soothe, excellent. Excellent. Her <laughs> paralytic closet, that's right. Who's that? Uh, Biscuit. Hey, Biscuit, welcome back. See you for the 11 months. Good to see you. That's almost one entire full calendar year, I've been told. Sunshine, welcome in. Powdered Toast Man. God, I remember Powdered Toast Man. He flies backwards. Flies backwards. Down to 50% certainty already. We should break them before they get out of their uh, 
paralytic state, so that's good. Granite. Well, what kind of stone is on this map? I actually didn't even look. What all do we... I guess I could actually look on the map, but... We got marble and limestone. Okay. Marble and limestone. Stick somewhere. You have so many thrombos. Your colonists can't keep up with training them and keeping them tame. <laughs> Sounds about right. Cull the herd. Go trade some of them off. And plus is super fast, way faster than other mods. Ignore scenario limitations. So if you put only oh, I got you in like an edited scenario. I got you. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Alright. Hoping for a uh, that Empire Betrayal quest. It's really what I'm wanting. Really what I'm waiting on. Uh, this is good enough for now. Don't want him going off across the map after anything. Beige is getting converted pretty quickly, actually. We don't even have, uh, like, good social or anything. So, like, cowboy, welcome in. Far Cry 5, every time you hear Call the Herd. I haven't played any Far Cry games yet. Played a little bit of Primal. Not enough to really say I've played it, you know? It's on the old endless to-do list, as I always say. So, uh, Trigger Happy is going to be a premium in this. Tough is going to be a premium. Uh, good shooters in general. And uh, we're going to need more construction people than normal. Yeah, so for anyone that doesn't know, if you're doing Naked Brutality, uh, I think I can show it still, right? If you're doing Naked Brutality... The low population conversion is 300% speed. So when you're under... Um, I think it, it, it's the 300% at one colonist. Uh, I don't know why it was... It's hard to get that out. And then uh, yeah, it goes down from there. But that's how it starts out. <laughs> so we can read it. Uh, with a single colonist of the player's starting ideology... Conversion chance to his ideology is multiplied by this amount. Conversion attempts against them have their impact divided by that amount. With two colonists starting ideology, the effect is halved. So, for the first one, we get 300%. Um, or for the, our second. And then, to get our third colonist is 150%. What I mean by no kill box? Uh, no like area, specific area that we kill people in. No funnel, no tunnel, no trap tunnel, no burn tunnel, no cover setup that we can shoot from as they trickle in one at a time. Only killing in a circle. <laughs> can we melee block a doorway? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No oven, yeah. Uh, old Bill. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Old Bill. Very much appreciated. 29-year-old is being chased by pirates. All right, so we might can get a gun from this, even if we don't want her. So we're going to take her. Volatile Brawler. It's actually not bad either, but we are going to... Try. We really hope the person coming in has an an SMG. Heavy SMG is uh, what we really want to see them come in with. 
And they're melee, unfortunately. Cable of Skilled Labor, 61. Shiloh, thank you for the gift sub to Forest Freak. You're at 20. Thank you, Shiloh. Appreciate it. Is the storyteller Randy? Double strand t shirt. Nice. Too bad it's not button down, but. He's got to add back. Uh, yeah, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you again. Or maybe in the YouTube comments. Either one. We're going to have a breakdown. See, we need to get this up. Diverse thoughts. Well, well, we won't have that for very much longer, so that's good. Fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Uh, Jill, thank you for this much prime also. Thank you, Jill. Been watching, or waiting to catch live and do that. That's awesome. Thank you, Jill Onyx. Also appreciated. We kill them because we have diverse thoughts. How long until you're dead? Not soon enough. Excuse me. Sacratina. Maybe I should pick up that knife. Ten three hours, all right. Gotta get this uh, room more impressive real soon. Really soon. So we didn't end up getting what we wanted out of that. Um, all we got was a Devil Strand shirt, and we did also get uh, another sacrifice. So did not compare Prime to a tier one. I've never done that. No, never. It, I've never told people that it's the same as a tier one sub. No, it doesn't count YouTube, unfortunately. We're gonna have a breakdown soon, which is really, really bad. Gotta get his mood up. Okay. This will help it quite a bit, actually. There we go. So now he actually has a bedroll made out of uh, made out of the skin of the people that try to join the colony. It's a good track, yeah. Manhunter back. There we go. Major event. Guinea pig. Man, if I had a breakdown right now, we just lose the run. Oh. Multiple of them. Yeah, that would actually kill us if, uh, if I were to have a breakdown. Well, like any snack. Side times two, awful bedroom. We'll get that resolved soon. Something heat and sweaty. Uh, making the room bigger will end up helping towards that also. 
He's got a lot to do right now, though, so I don't want to... I might actually force him to do some of that. I mean, he does have a burning passion for construction, so forcing him to do construction wouldn't be too bad. Turrets only can adjust the pathing of sappers and half breachers. They will still path to a bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I must have missed the question for that. Thank you. So when Abasia is up, we're going to put them, uh, tie them to a research bench and launch ourselves forward in technology. So we just need to survive until then. We got one trap back up, so let's go ahead and force the trap we made. Psychic drone. Six days of psychic drone? No, we can't do that right now. What is a kill box? A kill box is basically an area, like a big choke point that you set up where enemies come in uh, in a line instead of in a bunch. Um, so you'll see it in a lot of streams where you have like a concave where you put people behind cover and the enemies all run through there and you fight them group versus group. And they'll have like, you know, trap tunnels on the way to it and stuff like that. If you go to one of my YouTube videos, uh, Exhibition YT of RimWorld and you click a, even just a couple episodes in on any of them, you'll see uh, kill boxes. Funnel enemies, yeah. Build cover at all or not even that. Uh, I'll build some cover inside the base itself for um, like drop pods and things like that, but I'm mainly gonna try to uh, kite and break groups of enemies from each other, which is gonna be very hard later on. That's my plan right now. It might get too hard and we add like, all right, we can have some barricade fallback areas inside at least the rooms or something. But yeah, we'll see. We'll play by ear. So the melee only run. That one had no kill box. Yeah, that's true. It, it did have like a tunnel though. Trap tunnel. <laughs> Beige is at 26%. First major event was uh, animal attack. Unfortunately, I really do want to get a weapon, so I'd kind of like some of those single pirates. Autobong death traps allowed? I no, probably not. No. Probably won't do any uh, any autobong stuff. At least not offensive autobongs in this one. So, rare thrombos can't do anything about that right now. Mood is going back up. So I got that very low expectations, of course. It's our super low wealth. And we're going to need some more wood. 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 Some wood very soon. Because we're still doing... Um, fueled stove, obviously. So... Let's go on ring guy. Single pirates in your area. <laughs> Maybe I didn't click the right advertisement for the single pirates, yeah. He's just down to 23%. It's going all right so far, yeah. Pretty chill, though. Only had a couple of uh, events. Granted, the last event could have killed us if we... Uh, if we had a breakdown at the same time, which we almost did. But almost only matters in horseshoes and hand grenades, I, I've heard. Hey, Johnny Tight Lips, welcome back. How's it going, Johnny? No one died, no one important. No, just sacrifices for now. Just some sacrifices for now. <laughs> Looks like there's an opening there. There's a lot of steel really close to us. So that's the only really close compact machinery. You know, it would be nice to have uh, some ship chunks fall, like, right here. 
You hear that, Randy? Like three ship chunks right here. Appreciate that. So as soon as we get this part set up, I'm actually going to make outer walls way sooner than normal because they're going to be instrumental in our uh, our defense in this run. So have outer walls way sooner than what we usually have them. Just found out one of his recruited pawns has loose freedom addiction. Ouch. It's going nuts so. Also useful when using nuclear weapons. <laughs> Uh, the nuclear weapons are considered hand grenades, right? Heat stroke? How severe is this heat stroke? Here. We'll, uh, we'll get the sun off. It's a tight area anyway, though, and the ponds actually do produce some body heat. So the heat's off a bedroom. Yeah, yeah. We're getting it fixed. We're getting it fixed. Uh, I played Stellaris a little bit, yeah. It's been a long time, though. I actually really liked Stellaris. Um, but I haven't played it in a long time. It's almost like a different game from the last time I played it at this stage. Just a small handheld... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Using a lot of 11 by 11 rooms with three wide hallways for rural bases. Yep. Yeah, those are good. Uh, it's very, um, it's it's very strong as well, which is what I I'm doing. This is 11 by 11 interior, and the three wide hallway allows you to put uh, door chokes every so often in order to do melee full melee blocks and shotgun tunnels within your base just at any any point. So it's very very good. Yeah, let's go, and Liam. You can build tall in it again. That's good. I like building tall in those games sometimes. I can save and stuff as well. No, it's like a different game than the last time I played it, really. They've added so much since then. They yeah, haven't played Stellaris in about two years, so. All right. So now we can get the impressiveness up on this after he cleans it. I really need a Beja up. 25 days. Stroke. I also need to protect the uh, the plant area. <laughs> hey, no sneezing. Stargate game from the devs. You can see if it's worth buying. When is it supposed to come out? I saw you post some information, but... And I might do the outer walls out of wood, and then we'll expand on it later. It's very dangerous, but and I'm still waiting for that um, Betray the Empire quest. It's really uh, hoping we'd already have that by now. I sneeze in my stream! <laughs> Ship to the stars, not the one we're looking for. Hungry, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll eat when you're up, it's fine. All right, let's clean all that. Ducks join. Holy crap, what? <laughs> Ray's trying to give us wealth. No. Uh, you know what? I'll see if they'll just come at night. Some, sometimes they do. It's not that far away either. So, we're gonna have to come around this way. Okay. 
Randy heard you were hungry, so we sent you ducks. For some reason, the Q command isn't working, even though the Q is working, so. Just initial heat stroke. I think it's triggered on day 26. Oh, really? I never knew that. Okay. We're almost there then. Well, not quite, but. Almost, almost there. Uh, so, they can now just be uh, released because they were already a colonist. So as soon as they pop up, they'll be a member of this colony once again. Fix another server down. I don't know all the the numbers that are hidden in the code. I, I don't really, I don't really look through the game files. We're gonna need a lot of wood. A lot of wood. Write a patch for Combat Extended that makes the Science Never Stops weapons actually work with it. Smiles and the Iguanas. Pack of four Iguanas. Uh, no. I mean, we could do that pretty easily. Maybe I should just... What's our mood looking like, though? I, I don't really want to do another sacrifice right now. Let's go on ROM. New run. Crazy run, yeah. Crazy run. All right. Oh, the ducks are here. God. That's why I think you're ducks, Randy. <laughs> At least it wasn't dogs this time, you know? At least it wasn't Yorkies. Not the ducks. The ducks. Uh, it comes out next week. Rotation. They already posted about it. So next week. I'll be doing it next week. A duck sc screaming, then silence. I remember that part of that uh Christmas song. Hey, ducks are screaming. Seven thrombos. No. Uh, there is a mod for Twitch integration, but I don't, I don't, I don't like it. A lot of people like it. That's fine. If you like, there's a lot of streams that do, that do it. Um, but no, I, I don't, I don't really like it. So, but there is one. There is a mod for it. Do I play RSL? Is that Raid Shadow Legends? If it is, then yes, I do. Chop up those ducks. Okay. Raid, pause, Shadow Legends, not Raid Shadow Legends. Don't forget the colon. How dare you. Yeah, I know about that mod too, yeah. Wonder who's gonna be the first out of the queue in this one to be our friend of Asia, Abasia. So soon we'll uh, we'll have we'll anger the empire and then things are gonna get serious, serious. Another man under pack. Oh, don't be this kind of Randy. I don't need man hunters. I need things that give me weapons. <laughs> Glitter world medicine ready for those bites. Uh. Did 
Now that we're feeding two, I'm gonna put this up to five and two. Five and two. Okay. Meals there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Waste all the traps, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're almost to the point where we can uh, anger the Empire, which hopefully then things will get real serious. It's traveling along right now. He knows that's all we can use for defense is. Some traps, not even trap tunnels. So he's just trying to take them out. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Probably travelers passing by. Come on, Abasia. Wake up early. You'll be an incredible help to this colony. Seriously. A group of food passing by. Who could not kill them right now, this guy? I'm, well, I do have a club now. We have graduated from wooden log to club, which is almost the same thing. I guess it, well, technically it would be. All right. Um. Hmm. some light leather. We got more human leather. So let's go ahead and build one of these over here. See how it turns out. <laughs> Adam needs to die. Send in the bunnies. The guinea pigs, yeah. A mad donkey. Man, oh man, what is going on? He's just getting bigger and bigger with the animals. <laughs> no raiders. He knows I need gear. Good luck making gear out of a donkey. Crew pass by this thing or is just free food? Yeah, or you can arrest them. You can um, you can look, and if there's a good pawn, you can grab them. He's just absolutely wasting all my traps. That's what he's doing. All right, I'd have to move him first. There you go, sleep in that human leather. One donkey. Crapos. I would not be able to hit anything with it, probably, but I was really hoping to wait and get um, get a weapon from a raider, but I mean, comes down to it, obviously, I'll craft one, but. Psychic drone. Okay, I guess that means I'm gonna increase the uh, the beauty in here. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Pretentious, welcome in. Two more days, and that quest can trigger. Then hopefully we get an assault rifle or a heavy SMG from it. I mean, chain shotgun be all right. It's not as good for kiting, which is what we're gonna have to do for most of our killing in this entire playthrough, but what is going on? 
We're having a lot of negative events. They're all animals. It's rabbits again. <laughs> We're gonna uh, build things off center of the trees. No, no. Not this time. Transport pod. Norman. Nimble. Bisexual teetotaler. They're not bad. But don't need them right now. Gotta pray to down the ambusher and no deaths. Yeah, yeah. Really hope they don't uh, explode on. Well, I mean, they will explode on death. I hope they are down, not killed. Send in the bunnies. <laughs> Really use the nature here, yeah. Second drone is done. Got a nice Aurora. That mood up while we're outside. Man, that was a fast Aurora. They never last very long, but I think they're, they're one of the things that can last the shortest in the game. Cargo pods, what we got? Vegetarian fine meals. It's pretty far away, I'm just not gonna worry about it. All right, what's the impressiveness of this room now? It's up to dull, so at least it's not awful. Now I'm going to decide whether I'm going to go ahead and start doing the outer wall. I think I'm going to wait for that um, betrayal of the Empire before I decide. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to start it as wood. It's going to be kind of a weird thing, but... Heat stroke. Ah, you're, you're fine. So what's the cat? No sneezing, I said. Higher than 500%. Uh, I don't know. If they did, I would do it, you know, but... I'm okay with it. Either way. Bless you, child. I, just, I think I just caused lightning to strike. It's actually not good at all. I haven't built roof breaks around this yet. Flush child and boom lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, Zeus. No burn boxes, I said. Stop it, Randy. Rain, please. Rain. There it is, the deserter. How long do I have to accept it? Five days. Okay. We are going to anger the Empire at hopes for some good gear. Rain will trigger eventually, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are the stats? Oh, very good starting point. One of my best starters, probably. Ra Randy? <laughs> Rain? Rain? Randy, rain. Rain, rain.
Rain, Randy. <laughs> Randy, rain. Mad animal again? We're just like, stop putting out that fire. I'll make it rain when I want to make it rain. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Let's go to inspector. That mag gazelle's done. We'll throw up the traps and then we will um, accept the quest for the deserter. rain and I think we uh oh, man. we basically stopped the fire Looks have the quest tomorrow. We need to let him get his mood back up. Cheese run, how did you place blocks on the border? Uh, if you go to Exclamation Cheese, it explains the exploits that I used. But basically, I used an exploit so that a single pawn can carry tons of chunks in their inventory. And then I draft them at the border and I click in their inventory to drop a single chunk, move them down a space, drop a chunk, and just keep doing that. I carry, yeah, there's the rain. I carried a ton with a single pawn. Transfer pawn. A wimp. All right. As soon as mood's back up. <laughs> clear swamp maps, clear spot, burn everything else. Man, swamps have so much wood, it's insane. I remember when we were doing the uh, cannibal grannies in the swamp and I would go to add like another small room, like a even a five by five room. And it felt like I would end up with like another 2000 wood every time. Hey, a ship chunk. It's not where I asked for it, but ship chunk nonetheless. All right. Uh, might want to wait till the rain's done. We have several days to do this, so. This should be alright. God, none you. <laughs> no comments from me. You like grannies, huh? I should stop using this voice. <laughs> well, on rain, I wanted the rain to come down. I wanted it to go away. I was <laughs> never happy. Never happy. Ever, ever. Chunks, meteors, make it rain. <laughs> Imagine setting up so, like, there's uh, ship chunks, like, every 12 hours. It's like, oh my god. Cranny scares me. No comment. All right, here we go. Oh, an assault rifle. Yes. Perfect. It begins. We an interesting, fun challenge. So much random, stupid, pointless deaths. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. 
And a chain shotgun. Ooh, okay. Hopefully down him without killing him. Do 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 the what? What do you mean black helper? Meteorite of limestone. Words to betray the Empire. I I almost always do it, and then I just really them, yep. On naked brutality, I almost or tribal almost always, so I can get some early gear. Cabinets to the fire, yeah, they they do. They're from the Empire, so if he dies without uh, being downed, then stuff is destroyed. Oh my god, it's so good. So good. We actually downed him without killing him. I don't even can't even express how rare it is when I betray the Empire that we actually end up downing without killing. Uh, we can get some medical experience as well. Very, very good. Arrest him. Uh, I might and just execute, yeah. For the mood boost. All right. Helper Pond's going to get killed. Yes. Mm. 
crap. He died before I could execute him. No, no, that's the other one. My bad. Very good. That's that's actually amazing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the outer wall from that. Want to have a club? Come back. Your arm with assault rifle and flax. That's right. <laughs> Betray the empire. It's it's very risky though, because they're gonna come back with uh, some really powerful weapons and uh, like shield belts and stuff. But reward sacrifices. Murdering anyone who vaguely trusts you reduces threat size. Yep. Yeah, so any for so I haven't explained it in this playthrough for anyone wondering why I'm sacrificing these pawns that I don't want instead of um, banishing them. If you if you have a death or if you banish them, you're gonna get a minus three if they don't have a relationship with the pawn. But if they die, the game actually has this adaption factor that happens where it'll take it easier on you for a little while. It literally reduces the raid points that the game can use against you for a set amount of time if you have a death. So if I get a, a join in, in these that I don't want. For whatever reason, they're not good, whatever. It is better for me to just kill them, to sacrifice them, because it will... It basically destroys part of the raid without firing a shot. Um, you can learn some more about it, too. Well, we don't have a specific guide, but you can kind of get that, the gist of that on the wealth guide that we have up, an exclamation wealth, if you want. But we can basically kill a, gr a bit of the next raid group without firing a shot, just by killing uh, an auto-join that we don't want. So if you see someone with sacrifice on their name, that's why. Secretly Skaven? Uh, not secretly, no. It's going barn. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping I should have a lot more time during the summer. I'm my uh during my daughter's summer break, so she has one more week left of school, I think. Yeah, not secretly. <laughs> right, let's bring this stuff in. So good that we got both an assault rifle and a, a chain shotgun right off the bat. Two assault rifles would have been better <laughs> for what we're doing, but I uh, can't really complain, even though I kind of just did. I'm the best, most trustworthy. Hey, if you're just not a terrible person, if you have a lot of good skills and you're not too old, uh, I will keep you alive. I will do everything in my power. My my colony is probably the best place on the planet for you to live if if you are good, if you're skilled <laughs> and young and don't have any like crippling addictions or stuff like that. It's, it's very safe for you. If you have any of that, it's probably the worst colony on the map to go to, yeah. June 1st, or sad because she loves school so much. <laughs> That's nice, yeah, it's nice they do. Working during summer school. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, so I really hate to do this, but uh, this run is going to kind of require me to, to play oddly. I'm actually going to make these outer walls initially this early and I'm gonna make them out of wood. Now hiring must have at least five years experience in the role is right here. Yeah, pretty much. And also you need to be in uh uh you need to be a nice person. And what is going on? And uh I need you to have all that experience but also not to be too old. We are just getting we're actually getting hit quite a bit. This is more hits really close than Randy usually does super early game, but it's all manhunters and I don't want manhunters. I want people. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> state instead of end of June. It depends on the state a little bit, but most of the United States, um, yeah, summer break starts during May. Age discrimination? Absolutely. 100%.
I swear it's just Randy trying to get rid of our traps. Yeah, uh, star break is usually mid to late May through to the beginning of August. It's a little bit different per district, per state, etc. But around when the teaching period ends at your university, exams are still coming. U.S. has longer summer no breaks during school. Uh, we actually do have breaks during school now, too. They've added more and more over the years. So there is a fall break now that's usually a week long. There's um, Thanksgiving break, which is almost a week long. There's Christmas break or winter break, which is two weeks long. And there's spring break, which is a week long. So summer's a little bit shorter than it used to be due to those extra breaks. Again, though, it varies by place. Like, even just by school district, it can vary. So, in fact, there's a school district right near here that gets out of school uh, later than my daughter, like a couple weeks later. Same grade, just a different district within the same... Uh, in the same city, so. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Don't let me die. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Right. Yeah, he's just sending animals. I won't get raided while I'm gone. I'll be right back. All right, how'd you guys do? You just let it, you just let him sleep. No summer breaks in June in Australia. <laughs> well, I wonder why. Let's go, Jay. You're gonna try your first losing his fun five percent run. <laughs> That's awesome. Good luck. Good luck. So I just had a thought while I was up. There is another downside to doing this as naked tribal brutality that I wasn't really thinking about. There are certain events in the game that can't happen before a certain day. So a good example is um, like it's either toxic fallout or it's um, uh, volcanic winter or it might be both that can't happen before 60 days. And so in like a normal naked brutality run or um, crash landed or even tribal, or we would probably be able to be ready for that by that date. With this though, since it's such a slow start with tribal naked brutality, that might come and screw us over, and we might die to something that's not combat related in this combat oriented challenge. So we'll see though. Chairs asserting dominance. Chairs never lost a run. That's true. That is 100% the case, so you're right. But yeah, uh, Randy just keeps sending us animals, which is kind of unfortunate. So once Abasia is up, we're going to name them, and they are going to be. Uh, tied to a research bench to try to get us into some very important research. And then I'm going to try to get a third pawn that is going to be a trade mule. They don't even have to be good. They're 
pretty much never going to be at the base. We're just going to send wealth away with them uh, to trade for things that we we need. So they're almost always going to be on the road. Um, yeah, they don't need to be good. Power went out there. Um, you having uh, storms or? We're actually supposed to have some storms later today here. We were anyway. I don't know. It's still, still the case or not? For some reason, the Q command isn't working, even though the Q is working. Killed upon? Well, yeah, not yet. I don't want them yet. Live in California, you'd like some rain? You can have some of our rain if you want. Want some of ours? That's how it works. It's raining all day there. May get cold enough for more snow. <laughs> Just got some snow. You're okay for a minute. It's 92 there. So yeah, we're just trying to, uh, we're chilling until Abasia is up. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the outer wall. Man, oh man. I really don't like putting as much wealth in this early as you guys know, but we have, we are sacrificing people as well. So hopefully it, uh, hopefully it's all right. Actually, let's do this side first. <laughs> Off to the zoo. Have fun, sinful mage. Thank you for the lurk. We haven't been to the zoo in a while. We usually like to go in the fall, though. Uh, and we are at 10 Anima Grass also. I really wish Abasia had been tribal, but... Now, the pawn that we get that's going to go off and trade and whatnot, they can't be just any pawn. They don't have to be super excellent. Because at some point, we're probably going to have them back in the main base. Natural formed funnels like the mountain to the right. Um, within reason. So I can't, like... I can't make a concave here with cover and let them come through, because that's basically just a kill box, even though it's natural. But I wouldn't be opposed to, like, setting some people up over here and over here, and shooting at them as they come through, like, without built-up cover and stuff like that, you know? Bristol Zoo is shutting down. The local zoo, zoo where you are? It's way too out of date for modern-day animal welfare. It's the right move. Yeah, that is, that is good. The ruins, wouldn't that reduce your wealth? Uh... No. Well, it would keep this... So, this is already counting towards our wealth. So, just moving it elsewhere isn't going to do anything. It would make it so that we don't have to... Um, uh, like, we would replace some of the wood. So, it would reduce it a little. But it's not enough to really matter. Like, how many pieces of wall is this? You know, let's say it's 15 pieces. If we do 15 out of this out of stone instead of wood, the difference in that is going to be pretty minuscule. Even at 500%. One of three. Okay. Stash, we don't need those. You only get half axe, so when you build it, it's half wealth. It's it would be lower wealth, but it's not it's not it's gonna be such a low amount of, of wealth that it's not gonna do anything to raid points really. So when you deconstruct it you get half of the blocks back. However, blocks are actually more wealth than the walls anyway. So if we deconstruct it and just kept them as blocks, I mean, that would give us actually a little bit more wealth. Then we turn those back into walls, it would reduce their wealth slightly, but it's gonna be such a minuscule difference that it's not gonna, like it literally wouldn't be the difference even in like one raider at that scale. So it's it, it doesn't really matter. Hello. So, but yeah, you are right that if we deconstructed it, it goes down into less blocks than how it's built. And then if we then build new wall out of the ones we deconstructed, it will technically be less wealth than having this here and build wood walls. But it's gonna, it's so, it's so insignificant, yeah.
And I'm going to redo it with uh, blocks that we can actually build from the map anyway. So I kind of want to have it where I don't have to really think about replacing it with a new block type. Yeah, it would be good, but it, it doesn't it doesn't end up mattering. So um, if this was the same block type, I might just do it anyway, though, like how I'm leaving the, the marble. So one of the problems that we might run into, walls are going to be very, very important. And if I have these out of slate and I can't make any more slate and then an enemy breaks through a wall chunk or whatever, a wall spot, and it's set to rebuild and I don't like actively micromanage and go change that wall to something I can rebuild, then it might screw us over. I mean, none of those things are probably going to matter that much in the grand scheme of things, but anyway, that's another thing that uh, I got to think about is wall rebuilding. But if you are like super min maxing, if you're trying to do like every single point of wealth matters, then doing that would reduce wealth slightly, but it's still not enough to really like... If we lose the game because we didn't save on 15 pieces of wall, there's something else going on, you know? We would have lost anyway. Even on 500%. Hopefully that makes fun. Or makes sense. <laughs> I read losing is fun as I said mix. Hopefully that makes fun. Albasia, I need you up. Nine days. Food poisoning is over. Let him do his thing. Anger all the people who like the walls to match. I usually do that, yeah. <laughs> Mix all the materials. I usually don't care about that at all. Like how this is partially wood. Partially granite. Oh man, I was gonna get that ready for today. I'm actually thinking about doing it slightly different than what you set up, Aspen. I'm thinking that I'll make it keep count of how many times that's I've been told to do that also. I was thinking about that last night, actually. Leopard. Lazy, slow learner. Slapping the cold, slapping the heat, hypothermia, whatever. I'm okay with the bedroom just being uh, dull, I think, so I'm going to not have him plant quite as much in here. I think that'll actually put it at dull. My music broken? No, that's Twitch. Uh, it happens on Twitch. It's a frequency thing. It happens all over the place. It seems to happen more this year than others. You can reload the stream to fix it instantly. Or if you want to fix it on all streams for good, you can turn off low latency mode. Go to the gear below the stream. Click on advanced and turn off low latency mode. And that will uh, that'll fix it on, on all streams. Your chat will be slightly more behind. Your stream will be slightly more behind. But uh, it'll get rid of that weird problem. Lazy slow learner. Tell me more. <laughs> they just elect to give you that information. There's a mod where you actually don't know the traits until later. <laughs> you just find them out, which makes a lot of sense. It's like, imagine someone showing up to the call and he's like, I would like to join you. It's like, really? What are your qualifications? Well, I'm abrasive. I like fighting with everyone. It causes lots of social issues. Oh, I have a crippling drug addiction. Uh, and in fact, I just take drugs, like any drugs. You can't stop me. And uh, I'm also really lazy. I'm just really slow at doing work. I just don't like to do it. Can I join the colony? Uh, you can. Here's your badge. It's Sacra Fatetti. Uh, I need you to go stand. There's a place behind the shed. <laughs> Skulls, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, Skulls. Thanks for the endless for me. <laughs> you actually hit send too early. Thank you, Skulls. I appreciate it. No problem. I'm glad you appreciate the endless. Can't type on the iPad. Thank you. <laughs> Mascus as a trait without pain is virtue. I really like Mascus overall. It's pretty good, even without pain is virtue. Uh, the only downside to it is the fact that um, if you actively give them 
uh, some pain, they're going to have lower consciousness. You can overcome that pretty easily, and if they're not like your melee at the front, then doesn't matter as much anyway. So, yeah, I like Mascus overall. Slaughter areas for humans that had no debuffs. I'm sure there's a mod, yeah. Welcome to the colony. Go stand next to the pool of blood. <laughs> Do a mind screw. I get, yeah, but again, you're gonna have to worry about consciousness. You do a mind screw with mascus to make them happy, but consciousness is their only the only downside to masochism, really. Worry about doors later. Sound artifacts on rim for some reason. Other games have it. They just, for some reason, don't notice. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's something to maybe the pitch or something. I don't know. Yeah, and I never get that question from anyone um, when we're playing something else. We don't use that here, Light. Unless you're looking for channel points, which is down below chat. Neural superchargers can help with that. There's a lot of things that can help with the cautious hit. It's just something you gotta keep an eye on. But again, if they're like, you know, it's not too bad as long as they're not having their consciousness reduced by other things, you know. If you're giving them drugs and they get a disease as well, it's like, all right, well, I guess you're in a coma for a little while. Psychopath and Candle are your favorite starting perks. Psychopath and Candle are both good. They're not as good as they used to be if you have ideology because you can overcome some of those things just with ideology. They're still good. But I don't think they're the best. I actually think, at least for how I play, tough is the best trait in the game. Tough reduces one-shots. Getting one-shotted, one-shot in this game is really frustrating. Um, and tough makes it so you basically can't get one-shot. Like, it's still technically possible depending on the weapon and the quality and where you get hit and whatnot. But if you have a tough pawn and they're wearing a helmet and decent gear, their chance of getting one shot is pretty close to zero. And I just, I hate having someone, you know, some god pawn in the kill tunnel late game and 200 tribals come in and one of them fires their awful short bow and destroys their, my god pawn's brain. It's like, really? <laughs> Bloodlust is good, yeah. Overall, it's a really good mood increase, but I think tough is my, is my absolute top for me. Low latency mode it speeds up playback, so when you start falling behind, the pitches increase. Yeah, just weird that it happens more on like Rimworlds. Very odd. Awful short bow, greater than brain. Smoothing floors. Uh, smoothing floors is okay. There's just. There's something you have to remember. I have a guide that goes over it as well, exclamation wealth. But if you smooth floor, it adds wealth immediately. And that is wealth that you can never technically completely get rid of. However, if you put flooring over the smooth floor, it no longer counts the wealth of the smooth floor underneath. It only counts the wealth of the floor on top of it. But if you remove the floor on top of it, the wealth from the smooth floor comes back. So smooth floor is, uh, is good. It's just if you're trying to like mid max for um for wealth or whatnot you just need to keep those things in mind walking to a new run yeah brand new challenge run started today how's it going nap high tech full body power suit versus flying stick who wins uh that's smoothed walls so smooth walls i think are still bugged to where they're not really adding wealth but smooth floor i think uh is adding correctly at the moment is it worth more or less we have uh, smurf made a graphic of what everything costs in um in wealth it's also in my wealth guide exclamation wealth if you go to that smurf and i made a guide that goes over every all that kind of stuff and there is a little like infographic that you can pause on or you can go to the infographic at my website um go to adam versus everything.com slash guides if you want and it goes over the wealth of every floor type, smooth versus wood versus each stone versus gold, you know, all that. Come on, Abasia. 
Four days, four days. Cover all the floor. The smooth floor with straw matting. <laughs> It'll lower the wealth. <laughs> An actual raid! Hooray! <laughs> so we had a sacrifice, so it's only one. They don't have a gun. Okay. They're attacking immediately. Alright. Come out of Beja like one day early, yeah. All right, let's get that back up. It's probably very interesting. I don't know how we're gonna do it when it starts getting to like 200 raiders. A wealth of information. Once it gets to like that number, it's gonna be, I don't know. We're gonna have to use a lot of psi casting and explode like, you know, we'll, we'll use doomsdays and stuff in this run probably. Yeah, I don't know, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's like what the crap's punching something. Three days. We all right. I doubt we'll beat it on our first try. I would be absolutely shocked if we beat it on the first try. I don't like that predator out there. I don't have anyone to chase it, so we're gonna chill in here for just a little bit. Just a little bit. Have faith. Commented on killbox and such. Uh, the lead developer Tynan isn't really a fan of killboxes, so. Do you have a copy paste of it? Smurf, really? Uh, do they shoot IDs? Do you place them about the base? No. I want melee only, and yeah. What do you find as a killbox? Anything that's gonna. Um, Basically, funnel people somewhere. Any hole in the wall is technically a kill box. I mean, you can get as technical as you want with it, yeah. I'm not gonna just have like a hole like this and put, you know, cover around here to shoot them. That would that would um, defeat the purpose. Or like here, someone was asking earlier, was like, well, can you just open this up and use that? Well, I mean, no, because <laughs> then if I put cover around there, that's the same thing, right? So. Let me spam the channel with Tynus comment. Uh, that's fine. He seems to want a very different game than what it is. Oh, I didn't read it. No, no, no. Uh oh, I was reading chat and I just accepted Christ. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, no, no, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I accepted the ship. Oh no. Yeah, this is done. Next step in the desert quest, no. I've never done this before. <laughs> hey, free components. Nice. It worked out. You just link the comment. Oh yeah, that works better. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Your stuff, don't recall if you ever seen you do a solo run. 
Uh, one colonist through the entire thing? No. I feel like it'd be a little bit boring. I might, a lot of people ask, but I might do it sometimes to have one up. It's almost Abasia time. Leopard. Kill you soon. Worried about destroying the ship near the anima tree. In the end, it didn't do anything. I know, yeah. I had never had it happen before. That was pretty all early on in uh, in ideology, and I and people in the chat were like, "The ship's gonna explode! It's gonna take out the it's gonna take out the anima tree!" And I almost lost the run trying to make that not happen. I was building like walls around it. Yeah, it's funny. Some free components, few explodes, shuttle. Flies pick her up as well. Yeah, we won't get that because we're enemies of the Empire right now, but that's another good er, whoops, early uh component, yeah. We won't get it, no, because we have uh, I'll show you. Another reason why we won't get it is I have honor turned off, and that's an honor specific quest, so we, we won't get it. They're, they're our enemies, and we have honor turned off, so we won't get it. Welcome back. It's Your not too many opponents anyway. It's not a big deal. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Roxy, thank you for the subscription. Six months. Thank you, Roxy. Very much appreciated. Much love to Roxy. Come on, Abasia. Mountains, and how do you deal with mechanoids and psychic drone ships? Uh, insects are... A problem in any overhead mountain. You can actually have an infestation on this map. There's probably overhead mountain here. If we dig too deep in there and a giant infestation happens, it can be a big problem. Well, we would end up doing a melee block in this kind of run to deal with it. Uh, Extinction bugs will show you kind of the melee block setup. How do you deal with mechanoids and psychic drone ships? So psychic drone ships, if it's to the point where we have um, mortars, I just mortar to pull and then I go in and get it. If we don't have mortars, I usually go in while they're still asleep, build some cover, take some EMP, and just fight them. That's normal. Can Abasia betray? No. Man, there's so much wealth on walls. Scythe down if you have sniper rifles. Um, you can do that if there's no pikemen. Pikemen have the same range as a sniper rifle, and also due to like the cooldown on the sniper rifle shot afterwards, or warm up, or whatever you want to call it, they can get shots in. But yeah, if you are fighting anything other than pikemen, it's, you can you can definitely kite with snipers pretty easily. And you have to be a little bit careful with scythers doing that. Yeah, there is a leash radius too, so. Thirteen hours. Oh my god, please don't hunt me. You know what? Just come in until beige is up. We'll have a Beja kite it. What is uh, Beja's combat? Three and four. Okay. If we see it hunt something else, we might take advantage of that too. Maybe we'll hunt Leopard here who keeps stealing our rice. Taking berries. 
Leopard. Five hours and we'll have our second colonist. Such a calm song. The raids stay pretty small forever. Yeah, on one of those runs, yeah. Let's get a name. We really stream at least five hours. These days, yeah, I used to stream a lot longer, but uh, due to like some health crap, I usually can't stream as long anymore, but. Uh, all right. Who's the first in? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh, Leno, it's not working at all. Steal yourself. Silencer, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Silencer. It is actually connected to the API still, so I'm not sure why it's not working. I'm just going to have to go grab one from it instead. That's not good. Uh, thank you, Silencer. Very much appreciated. Much love to Silencer. How's it going? The hell stuff. Um, uh, I'm waiting. Excuse me. I'm waiting to see if I can get on a trial of stuff at the moment. Uh, literal medical trial. Any news? The best. Yeah, I've done several now. It's really crazy. I wonder why it's not... I don't know if Lino is here. Alright, I'll just... Uh... Yeah, the bot is on. I can see the queue system. Um, the API is connected to Twitch. It showed me that. Alright, well. I guess I'll just have to pull the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's see. All right. It's devastating lights. Hey, light. You are in. What does Fighter Set mean? So, losing is fun, the hardest difficulty in the game. Baseline. Starts at 220% 20 20 threat scale. 500% is a custom losing is fun that you, you don't need a mod to do, which more than doubles the difficulty scaling of the game. So it, what it basically means is bigger raids faster. Yeah, I'll have to try to figure out what's going on with that after. Okay. All right. So, don't want to go ahead and try to kite and kill that. We should be able to kill it without too many issues. It is raining, though. Let's at least wait for the rain to stop. So, in Lumpa, welcome in. San, welcome in. Yeah, it really sucks. Yeah. Cassandra make this harder. In some ways, yeah. It just depends, though. So Randy can actually roll higher raid points than Cassandra. He can also roll lower, and he can attack more often. The good thing, the things about Cassandra that would make it easier is she has a schedule, so I would know when she was going to attack and when we were safe. So when it's her turn to basically attack, uh, I zone everyone in, I get ready, I get vigilant, we get ready to go, right? And then after her raid time is done and we know that we're safe for... Uh, basically six days. Approaching from multiple angles. Okay, just two raiders because it's a multi-hit. What kind were they? Frag. Pistol, okay.
Okay. He just got bruised by a shot. <laughs> uh, they brought a frag grenade, yeah. Some, uh, Nutramine? <laughs> Difficulty, difficult run like this is research one. Research is one, yeah. Uh, that's very important. And in fact, we'll end up um, staying pretty low wealth while we rush some uh, some research, yeah. All right. You've had them in multiple runs as a crafter. I didn't even know. Uh, yeah, they all died, so I didn't get a real good chance here. 11 shooting. 14 crafting. There you go. Yeah. And Lilith. We have a really good crafter in dev, though. Super good. I could turn him off bed rest. He only has bruises, but he's also still got not the greatest mood. So we'll uh we'll wait. Okay. Uh let's go ahead and make a zone out here. Apparel and turn off um clean apparel. There we go. Let that self rot. Excellent auto pistol. <laughs> Skull spikes. Um I mean they would get plus one mood, and if we got enough of them, plus three in that area. So is it worth it for the wealth this early when we have such high um, mood from low expectations? I don't know. Knocking out some research. Way to go, Diff. Psychic Suppressor, no. No suppression, please. Oh, it's because that was a... Uh, yeah. That. There we go. There we go. Let's be a good strat on this run. Uh, we're not in a tropical map, so we'd have to go get elephants or we'd have to buy them. Uh, there are a lot of wealth. Later on, animals would be really important. At this stage, an elephant would be like equivalent to two or three colonists in, in raid points. So this early on, probably not worth. But later on, when our um, wealth is higher, getting animals to hold things in melee, um, like lock them down in melee, will be pretty good, yeah. Make kill box and our drop pod raids inside walls always a possibility. They're always a possibility unless it's overhead mountain. Um, proper way to make a kill box. So just really quickly, you want 13 in length and then you want to start curving it. The reason why is if it goes longer than 13, then not everyone will have line of sight of the entire area. So get 13 and then from the middle of 13, so seven in, Draw however long you want, like your best weapon. Uh, it, it's decent accuracy ranges. So like, I usually do 18 for the kind of weapons that I like. So draw 18 and then start curving this around basically with cover. Then have a tunnel coming in here. If you want to see an actual good example of it though, uh, I have a run up that has lots of different kill boxes in it on YouTube. It's the transhumanist run. If you actually just type uh, Rimworld Transhumanist, you'll probably see my playthrough on YouTube, just searching for that. Uh, click one of those episodes. If you click into it, you'll see some actual, like, good, efficient kill box setups with EMP, cubbies, and all that kind of stuff. You're not going to see them in this playthrough since I can't use them, of course, but that's probably the best one to check because I have a lot of different kill boxes in that one. Even a burn box in that one. Yeah, no problem. How often do I want doors? I think I'm gonna do about every 20, every 20 spots. A 
How long is this? Six. No problem. A war crime simulator box. Uh, so and done. Uh, I just missed the start of this new crazy run we're doing. All right, let's knock out uh, electricity here. I need to get someone set up to go trade. So let's go ahead and get a uh, ritual spot. Oh, if you like to turn leader. Uh, I guess I'll do the uh, closet in this one. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I actually kind of already have one right there. Perfect. And I think, if I remember right, check hours. Uh, size, blah, 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 cost. All floors, no bed, no work. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Elephant wealth was so high. It depends on which stage of the game, yeah. Uh, the game considers both colonist count and wealth in deciding the size of threats. Combat animals are a factor in colonist count. Colonist count scales up with well, so well counts twice. Yeah, yeah. so Smurf has you. Our ideology, we are doing fluid ideology in this uh, playthrough, for this Rimworld playthrough, and um, right now we only have supremacy. Sheep are stupidly expensive and you hate them. <laughs> Oh, kill box. It's gonna be really interesting, yeah. Mid to late game. Early game, I think we'll be fine. Wish we'll provide a tiny bit. You know, yeah. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice. If it was like, um. Maybe like. Maybe not equivalent, but like on the road to double strand, sort of. Have an ideology build in mind. We are gonna kind of min max the ideology a bit. So we'll probably go with human primacy. Um, supremacy. I'm actually thinking about doing Tunnler, even though we're not doing mountains, because Tunnlers, uh, we can have mushrooms that will basically be, um, it, it'll be a food source that we don't have to worry about, like, toxic fallout, and it's a low wealth food source, so. But fluid will allow us to kind of go back and forth as we figure out what would help us with this run, you know? Can I make a better bed, please? Normal is going to be good enough for now. Here to get Mega Slaws, give a ton of wealth in general as well. Smooth stone floor or almost double paved floor. Better to lay stone floor using blocks instead of smoothing the stone. Yep. So one thing to remember though, Q, is that amount of wealth is so insignificant. So uh, you keep beauty in mind as well, of course, like smooth stone floor is gonna be better beauty than just laying down like granite uh, tile or whatever, base granite tile. But the big thing to remember is unless you're flooring in an, a huge area on like 500%, the amount of wealth that you're getting from it probably isn't gonna matter that much. If you do wanna min max though, uh, you ha you'll have to weigh that against beauty and mood based on beauty versus the wealth that you put down. So yeah, those things uh, from that video you can keep in mind. But if you're not playing on like 500% and kind of min-maxing it, the floors aren't gonna matter too much unless you're making everything early out of like carpet or, you know, the fancy carpet or the, uh, the more, the fancier stone, you know. 
the fine tile. Gold, you know. It should be it should be fine. What? Oh, I don't know what to do with this. When's the last time I had a Thrumbo self tame? Jesus. Do we even ha he has Alzheimer's. <laughs> Speaking of animal wealth, he's missing a leg. Why this one? Why this one? <laughs> uh, we can't even keep. We can't even keep it. We can't even tame it. They can self tame. Yeah, any of the animals can self tame. It just so happened we had a self tame event while Thrumbos were on the map, and it hit them. I have to recruit someone to go trade this wealth off, so. Alright. The horn, I will, yeah. I'm gonna trade it. <laughs> um, lectern. That sucks, but. Best way to get more components. Depends on the the part of the game that you're in. In the beginning, you're not going to have a lot of components on your map, so use them pretty wisely. Other than that, you can go trade. ABC, always buy components. And I would also tell you to uh, try to get to fabrication before your map runs out of components. Fabrication will allow you to make your own components out of steel. In that same vein, you want to try to get deep drilling and ground penetrating scanner so that you have infinite steel on your map, or you can get long range mineral scanner. But in general, you're gonna get them from trading, uh, whatever you can get on your map, you know, killing mechs, deconstructing mech buildings and whatnot, um, going out to trade, going out and mining other maps. You can uh, scan for them with long range mineral scanner, or you can just make them out of steel if you make it to fabrication. It's gonna add a lot, you know. We need to get, luckily it's lower wealth than normal because it's all beat up, but yeah. Uh, we'll put it Oh yeah, elitist jerk. I forgot about that. <laughs> work sites too. Yep, the work sites are a good one. Travel to get those. All right, here we go. We're looking for someone that can just go out and trade for us. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm getting someone right now. I join Thrumbo. I did. Yeah. L oh god <laughs> An ugly brawler. Look at that. 64 years old. Yeah, that's actually a really good pawn aside from being 64 and incapable of dumb labor. So that's unfortunate, but Hmm. You have them actually ride it. And I think I'm going to do that to start with. Okay. Uh. 
Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this crap while we're gone. Get out of here, mule, before we get attacked. Oh, uh, uh, get out, get out. Go, mule, go. <laughs> right now, we would get attacked by way more than what we really want. Q, do you stay in it until your name gets picked? Have to re -queue? Yes. Yep. But you can have multiple places in there. It's just it's a raffle system, so you can buy more tickets. But when when your name is pulled, it eats up all your your tickets. All right. Well, that severely reduced our wealth. You got to remember the wealth on the map was twelve thousand when we got here. So we basically only have nine thousand wealth since we started. It's crazy. Before the thrombo. And then about 550 after. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Unfortunately, now we are going to need a priest roll at some point. They're going to be upset with that one. Uh, we don't have another gun, but Mule might be able to get one. Actually, who's... We might be allied with one already. Purple's actually allied. Let's go to purple first. So maybe we can actually get a gun from them instead of just donating to the other guys. Okay. Right. Name the bone? No, because we're getting rid of it. <laughs> Hope this is my forever home. <laughs> the ancient screen. I'm not sure about that yet. Just a sad old thrumbo. Alzheimer's missing leg. Man, he was really beat up. What's a caravan typically need? Do you need animals usually to haul? So there are two different types of animals that impact caravans these days. There are pack animals, which are going, going to drastically increase the amount of weight your caravan can hold. And then there are mountable animals. So animals that actually increase the speed of the caravan. So if you go into an animal's information, uh, it'll have that here. Caravan riding speed will show how much they will increase the movement if some if you have one for the, the pawns, right? So um, that pawn, they can actually ride a thrumbo. So the thrumbo is increasing their uh, caravanning time by a lot. Uh, and, and its pack animal is one that you can load down with additional weight for it. So those are the two things you want to look for. Caravan riding speed to increase the speed of the caravan's movement and pack animal to just carry more weight. Aside from that, obviously you're going to need food for the, um, the colonists and potentially the animals depending on where you're traveling and how much forageable, much forageable goods there are on the way. Um, if you send the uh, if you send them with a bedroll, they will use the bedroll during the automated rest. So one bedroll per colonist on the trip will also help with mood. Right now, recreation is broken on um, on caravanning. So if you want them to get recreation while caravanning, you have to basically send them with drugs. Uh, chocolate and things like that should work, but it's been broken for a while. So you'd have to send them with like psychite tea or something if you want them to get recreation while they're doing it. Can you uh, control where traders go when they visit? Not without a mod. Not without a mod. All right, let's see what they have. So, let's see if they actually have any uh, weapons that we want. We're mainly looking for SMG and assault rifle. They do not. Uh, so we are going to go donate this instead. Probably one is confused. Well, well. You know, Thrumbo, how that happened? Self tame, yeah. Self tame.
So I'd like to get one more gun, and then we'll recruit a third person, and we're looking for a good social person. All right, we are going to donate pretty much everything. I mean, I could use the, the auto pistol fires quickly, and it's enough to, like, stun them so they can't really... Uh, so we can kite them better, right? Especially if they're melee. Maybe I'll just keep that one for right now. We're getting only plus 14 from it. And we're going to give them the thrombo. Plus 41. Well, it's crazy. Poor thrombo. Missing body parts. Alzheimer's. Still worth 1,089. Alright, mule. Come on back. Was mule good with plants? Can we just park them outside the map? They are good. They're tin, passion, and tribal. So we can just park mule out here. They should be able to feed themselves on berries for pretty much forever by themselves. to get that up to uh, more impressive. It's, it's going to take so much work time right now, though. On my own. No priest in minus six. Forging was affected by plant skill. Uh, and, and tribal as well. Tribals get a bonus to forging uh, in caravan. Just, just being tribal. don't forge a lot, even with high plant skill. That's a pretty big bonus, yeah. I don't know what the skill level is. You need tribal at 10 skill, I think we found out. Uh, will basically feed themselves forever. Depending on the tile. But. Colony starting scenario. I believe it's based on your colony itself. So, if your I yeah your culture, if your icon is tribal, then you should be good. If I remember right, it's been a few months since we tested that out. Maybe Smurf remembers. He was doing most of the testing. All right, seventeen grass. Here, let's get some uh, shooting experience and some more meat. More stealing of our rice. Travel faction really applies to any columns. Yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. Was it seven for tribal? What were we talking? I thought there was a 10 or 12 number. What was the 10 or 12 that we were talking about? Was that non-tribal needed 10 or 12? 
Kill the rice. Kill the non-believer. anything while they're breaking down. 10 or 12 because that gave a good amount of bonus berries. Oh, that's right. It wasn't to be self-sufficient. It was because we wanted them to be beyond self-sufficient so they would gather like hundreds so that we had emergency food to just bring in the map. That's what it was. Thank you. Actually, they lose their tribal status. Uh, they won't lose their tribal background for like meditation and stuff, but they would lose their, their faction being tribal, yeah. In the colony, or do you need a new name? Uh, there's only been one name in this one so far, so. So, not yet. Q command's not working right now. I don't know why. I'm gonna try to fix it after the stream. Don't know why it's not working. Yes. How many of them, though? Two. only two of them so I don't think we can cheese that out but okay so some research done while they're here learning passion for my work all right they're both terrible at fighting both pyros. <laughs> Why'd I make mine the leader? Because I was getting 100% on the uh, qual quality expectation of festivals to get a early join. So that's why. In fact, I need to start looking for a uh, priest. Pete Stash. Could like when you guys sleep in a human leather bedroll. Yo, Travis. No, what I was trying to do is there are some circumstances where you will get an auto join or not a join. You will get uh, these guys from another faction, the refugees, and they'll have um, a specialist that you can convert to and take advantage. So they have research specialist. So I was seeing, but with two of them, we can't do it. Um, 
right now. Anyway, I was seeing if we could uh, get them both switched over to research specialist and just put them on research to power through it. We're going to put them on research to power through as much as we can while they're here. Either way, though. Got a meteor shower near us. I haven't used that model in a really long time. Yeah, look at that research. We're gonna have electricity before we know it. Okay. Peter Shower is from Mod, yep. They're really powering through that. Let's go and eat. Hosting allies. Uh, to, uh no. For burden, no. No thanks. So I need to get more doors up for this. And then I need to reinforce the walls with stone all the way around. I need to get a third person with a gun. And then, um, and then we need to get to mortars. Inspired surgery. <laughs> a meteorite. And love early game refugees. Just set them to non-stop research and grind it out. And if they betray us, well, they die. Look at that. Research done. Um, man, oh man. Let's, uh, It. See if we can get to geothermal while they're here. Some dentures. Sweet medical experience as well. <laughs> Guarlin would be kind of interesting in this run, actually. Hmm. Think about that one. Yeah, they're getting 30 berries a day there. They're fine. We need them to mule some more stuff out. We'll have them join the map. We at on Anima Grass. We're at 19. We're gonna need our first Psycast soon. Uh, we are looking for Word of Trust would be ideal. Stun would also be a good pickup in this one. So obviously we're gonna get Chunk Skip. Burden uh, was bugged with Rocket Man. Rocket Man is a performance mod. Uh oh. Okay, three all melee. Okay. I don't know if it's still bugged or not. All right, let's take a look at these guys. Slothful, no thanks. Nimble, great memory, maskist. At this stage, I'm not gonna take any of those. Berry makers feed your animals since rancher gets upset over growing everything but hay. I hoping the rain would stop before they get here. Bones for the bone throne. I can. 
Skulls for the skull spikes. They have the same ring to it. Greatly appreciated. <laughs> Our aim is so bad in this rain. Medical experience. Uh, Vel. Vel, thank you for the subscription. Eight months already. Thank you, Vel. I don't know why I didn't pronounce your name Velasco this time. I think I always have, but not this time. Eight percent slave population after a specified time. Uh, that would be rough. Even with the slave changes, that would be rough. Vel is fine. <laughs> I just don't know why I picked that this time. I think I've always said the full one, but... Medical experience there as well. Yet, yet, not yet, North. I'm sorry. One of these days, though. How's it going, Mule? Doing good? Doing well? Doing fine? All those things? No kill box? Yeah, hopefully not. Well, I mean, definitely not, but we'll see if we do it. <laughs> Have one frenzy. I don't know what you mean. All right. Her best medical advice: take their legs, make wooden ones, rinse and repeat. Yeah. Don't forget dentures, wooden dentures. You know what? No bed rest for you guys. Suck it up and get to work, Travis. Oh no, not Travis. Your little chicken story coming back. Can't have mental breakdowns without legs. That's right. Can't escape either. Mules in a daze. Doesn't matter. Can't have food without life either. That's also true. So when mules done with their breakdown, we'll have them uh, swoop in here, grab some of this human leather and then head back out. Real name is Travis. Work. 
Anyways, you're watching the stream. Suddenly, I'm berating you. <laughs> Legs are a privilege, not a right. What's going on? Uh, Dilos, welcome in. Stay hydrated. So I can see this ending. Ancient insulation. Not right now. Not right now. Humane leather transports him. Being thirsty is your religion. Uh, not that kind of thirsty. Intense pain. All right, fine. You can bed rest for a little bit longer. I'm gonna gripe about it. Go lay on the floor <laughs> for bed rest. To... No hydration, water is gross. Burn bean water. Uh, I'm drinking some some green tea at the moment. A tantrum. Oh, they're just destroying some wealth. Nice, thanks, Travis. Way to go. You know what? That means you have catharsis, and that means you can go back to work. Thank you for the wealth management. Now shuffle some papers until we know how to harness the power of the earth. Oh no, flu on mule. Oh, mule does have to come back. Our first anima tree linking. Yeah. Okay, we are hoping for word of trust or stun. It's the ones I would mainly want right now. <laughs> Highly relatable. Apple cider. Drink cider, but it's cold. Gross. I like cider. So obviously we're gonna get chunk skip. Pray for chunk skip. Pray for no chunk skip. Please. I'm Jesus. I've been a uh, we haven't been a good colony, but just don't give me chunk skip. <laughs> We got Burden. I'll have to see if it's still bugged. Burden is actually really good, but uh, it might just be bugged and not work still. Really hate bringing Mule back right now. Chunk skip isn't an S tier sidecast. So. <laughs> so once, yeah, I don't think it's a. I don't think that's an intentional feature. All right, Mule, I guess if you die, though, then it's not a big deal because we don't want to keep you anyway, but see what happens. Hopefully don't uh, get raided while you're here. Is that up to 10 and 4? 10, 4. Right. 10, 4, good buddy. Irrational. You're not irrational? Uh, it's pretty even right now. As long as you get tended every time, they're probably going to be fine. 20% tin quality. Not, not great, though. Yeah, they're, they're just barely beating it right now. As long as they get tended every time, they'll be all right. They'll be okay. It's going max, yeah. yeah. See how it goes. Uh, if this first run fails, I'll start the other one as tribals, so we can uh, we can get to the the dangerous stuff faster. Deadly squirrels, ten man hunting squirrels for an advanced component.
That's kind of weird, yeah. It's actually still giving us that. Even though we are enemies of the Empire. And we have goodwill turned off. So maybe they changed that, yeah. So sorry earlier when I said we shouldn't get them. Uh, it's kind of weird that we're getting we're getting those still. It's weird. We won't need an advanced component for a very, very long time. So naked tribal brutality and all that. I want them dead. Send in the squirrels. The rats didn't get them earlier. Surely the squirrels will. Yeah, I think Mule's actually going to survive. And then we'll send them away with some more wealth. We might actually get um, Geothermal done before these guys are out of here. That would be crazy. Let's see. Oh, they're going to depart in two days. Squirrels? <laughs> I goodwill wins to fix Empire Relations. Yeah, so... And before, when I would turn off Goodwill, we wouldn't get those ones, yeah? But now we're getting them even with Goodwill turned off, so... So it must have changed since then. Transport port pod crash. Uh, I'm gonna go with a no on that one. It's a pretty hard pass. In early Naked Brutality, when setting up a trap tunnel, what can you use instead of sandbags? Since you have no cloth? Barriers. Barriers and sandbags are the exact same as far as cover. Um, and it depends on which material for the HP, but in general, um, barricades just have higher HP. But if you're only doing the trap tunnel setup, if you're only putting the barricades in there to make enemies not, uh, or to, to walk on the traps, you might as well use fence instead. Do I have that? I think I might have a clip of it. Can you exclamation traps maybe? I think there might be a Twitch clip of the setup. Manhunter pack. Boy, he's really liking uh, Manhunters today. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Send in the turtles. Monkeys. Things are getting bigger. Six animals now instead of one or two. Oh, I didn't claim those doors! <laughs> oh boy good thing the monkey showed us that <laughs> if you use existing doors in any of your wall make sure you claim it <laughs> just watch them run right in raid while the monkeys are here. Oh, it's an empire raid. Assault rifle. They have really good gear too. Look at that. You coming in with power armor already? Oh my god, they have power armor. Okay. Tough with pa tough with power armor. And the monkeys took out the traps. Well, then you can strip them off if we can kill them, yeah. <laughs> monkeys wait how long until these guys are leaving 1.4 days okay all 
Hoping for rain. We have a recon armor and helmet and assault rifle on tribal naked brutality within the first year. <laughs> That's crazy. Soft iron will teetotaler. Any permanent damage? Well, those aren't our colonists, so no. <laughs> those are just uh, refugees. The rain worked too. The rain prayer, yeah. That is an excellent start. Very, very nice start. Crazy. Crazy. walking actually I can already put them in here I'll wait though it's pretty even Make limestone do until we have X. Well, more than we should probably do right now, but whatever. Uh, we should have them take it to the best stockpile for now. I don't want to get in trouble with them just making crap loads more than I want. Been watching the fluid run. Be close to some mountains when you came in again. Could ask if you turn off bugs. Oh, God. I'll never live it down. He just straight up left his buddy. <laughs> yeah. Dude. So we get the uh, walls. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh god, it's, a, uh, it's it's tribal at least, but uh, okay. Nineteen hours.
Seriously? No, I've never turned off Max, no. Oh, Travis, why? <laughs> Sad wonder, jeez. Need you right now. There's people with bows outside. That's right. Yeah, I get this changed over to stone. Next, uh, next order of business, I guess. I'm being shot at, but man, do I want to light this rice on fire? That's right. Oh, right, they're friggin' pyros, so they're not gonna do it. Ah, well, we'll replace it anyway. How do you even light rice on fire? That's a good question. Uh, we'll convert them first. Actually, let's uh, reduce resistance first. More rain, Randy? More rain? Extreme breakdown on traps. Ravenously hungry. Get up and eat. There's two meals laying by your feet. How long until you guys are out of here? Three hours. You can suck it up for three hours. A chicken fried this right. <laughs> Well, they got a lot of research done while they were here. Felicia? Gourmand. Psh. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, no, see ya.
You will work until you die. Isn't that just everyone? Yes. It's going. It's going all right. It's going all right. No one make friends with Felicia. Please. Ideologies are doing fluid. Right now we only have supremacy. Pass that, I'm not 100% sure. We'll do human primacy too, but after that, I'm not sure. Uh, mule's up. Okay. get you out of here we got four people that's not that's not good let's just go get out mule take uh don't a lot to take with you either all right don't you have food i don't care get out of here i don't care uh, Felicia, no, that's fine. Christ. That's bad timing. Ugh, okay. Randy is awake. He woke up at a bad time. Oh, uh, they're split up, though. Is that the Empire again? Might be Pirates this time. Felicia, nice. They're a wimp. <laughs> oh my god, angering the Empire is the greatest thing we've ever done. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Actually crazy. Always anger the Empire, apparently. Prisoner stepped on a trap, yep. I threw some traps up inside earlier to uh, survive an attack. Okay, Mule is out of here. Still need a priest roll. ABC and AAE. Can you remove death acidifier? I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Step one, anger empire. Step two, step three, power armor and assault rifles. Yeah. Can't believe we have recon armor and assault rifles this early on is naked tribal brutality. Actually crazy. Right, 
Ah, uh, food? That's okay. You were never supposed to live. You weren't supposed to live. Solar flare? Doesn't matter for us. We don't care about solar flares. If he dies, he dies. That reminds me. Actually, I never gotten this comment before, but I actually got two comments by the same person uh, this morning. I woke up to them. In one of the runs, someone from chat, which I, it isn't a big deal to me in general, like I literally have um, two mods that are that are trans, right? But anyway, someone made two comments in uh, on YouTube that was like, Johnny's character is a female. And you keep saying he, and it's really bothering me. But Yanni, the actual person in chat, is a male. So I'm using Yanni's name in chat as the person. It's just like when my character starts out as a as a female, I say he anyway because I'm just used to that. But I I had never gotten any comments like that on YouTube. It was really uh, it was a weird thing to wake up to. It was like no no no, it's 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 okay. The the real person in chat is a male. Their character in the game as a female, so it's it's all right. You don't need to take offense of whichever one I, I'm calling it because of that. It's not even about, yeah, the misgendering type thing. Like, I understand that, right? But it's, it was a really odd comment. Yeah. I remember one time we had someone join the Discord too, and they were like, well, I was asleep and they were like, does Adam believe in trans rights or something like that? And then Lunar was like, well, he has two trans mods, so probably. And they left the Discord and <laughs> was like, all right, see ya. You're offended on behalf of the people that aren't even here. Yeah. <laughs> First character in was a female. Yeah, I just put the name on whoever. It doesn't matter to me. Real person's preference, the feelings are way more important than the fake pixel characters. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, it's like, it's really bothering me. It's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I don't know how that could bother you. Hmm. Hmm. Real pawn, is it? Yeah. <laughs> It's so it was really odd, but whatever. That just reminded me of it. Don't play with a lot of mods. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. First, um, I used to play with a lot of quality of life mods and I did this really hard challenge. And there was a bunch of people, some of them mostly joking, that were like, I bet you couldn't do those challenges if you weren't using mods. And I was like, I bet I could. So that was the first part. The second part is there's always new people coming to RimWorlds and buying the game and whatnot. And when they come to Twitch, a lot of times brand new players or players that don't even have the game yet find my channel on here or on YouTube. And I think having very, very few mods or no mods uh, is a nice thing that everyone can kind of watch and enjoy, regardless if you uh, use mods or not, because you know everything is in the game. What, what you see is what you expect, uh, or you can expect what you see when you buy the game sort of thing, right? So one is for that side of things, and one is because I don't want to make the uh, challenges any easier or harder outside of it. I'm not opposed to mods. I do some runs with mods, but overall, my games are usually very lightly modded. If I do use any, it's usually just a couple of very small quality of life mods so that um, I can give a good display of the game for new people getting into it. And also, like I said, for the challenge. Treat animals. Don't just mistreat the animal. You also mistrain yourself because you're normalizing mistreatment. Wait, did I miss something about string animals? Oscar run, yeah, it's still on the list to you. And the um, 
And so is the, um... Crap, what's it called? Uh... Winston. <laughs> Being mean to depictions can also be bad. You think it's bad how I treat my RimWorld colonist? Pawns aren't animals, though, yeah. Winston does the wave attacks. I've never played against him, but he does waves of attacks. Let's see how I treat yours, sir. How I treat my rumor pawns is not reflective of anything in real life. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. I think it's psychopathic. That's different. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to have Felicia cook. Mules over the breakdown. We'll have them come in and grab this human leather. All right. It looks like she's using the toilet, <laughs> but it's a, it's a, um, an altar. You were yelling slurs at your pawns? Oh, yeah. No, nothing like that. Mine is within the game parameters, yeah. <laughs> it's going three bottles. Let you get that stuff out. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't think video games cause violence inherently at all. Uh, I played, like... I don't recommend it, giving it to your children or whatever. I played like Mortal Kombat at an early age stuff. Didn't really bother me. Didn't have any impact. People were like, are you sure? Look how you're playing this. Uh, but I do think it can have psychological effect on people that are already predispositioned from other things or have mental issues or whatnot. It can exacerbate those things. I won't get into all the the debate on it, but uh, I, I did rewatch, not rewatch. I watched some clips, I guess. And I think we talked about it on Discord a while back. Back when they did the um, uh, the trial about video games, and they picked three video games to show, and they picked Mortal Kombat, and they picked uh, Doom, and they picked some random game. I can't remember the name of it. It sold like nothing before that, and it was like um, it was like a you were playing a movie even back then. It was so bizarre, uh, like surreal, watching all these like old people in this courtroom back when video games were not like very widely. Not, not like they are today when gaming is it was it postal i can't remember and they were all sitting around and they were watching like fatalities with like s like serious faces and stuff it's really weird i don't remember yeah nf i just saw some clips from that again the other day losing in video games causes violence <laughs> all right felicia we haven't had a sacrifice in a while so Drop your pants. Go stand outside in the corner. Why don't we do that in real life? As far as you know. So, I, important that I rename them. Not really, but at the end, if I make it to the credits, it's kind of interesting to see how many sacrifices we had. Sounds like. What's that, Renee? Point six, okay. All right, let's see if we can get a priest. Not even lowered the amount of cannibals that were coming to eat me tomorrow. <laughs> Probably not. Boring.
try that again. Mom once took away your Super Nintendo because she threw a controller. You're the problem. Not allowed to play games at the house. Threw an Xbox controller at your old roommate's plaza screen. Because they were upset with the game. Unforgettable. Not unforgettable enough to get us a priest. What 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 did she get upset with? Like what was the game that she was playing? Like Wii Sports or something? <laughs> well, I mean not for Xbox, obviously, but Wii Sports for Xbox. Nimble, annoying voice. Forty six. Wii Sports, Xbox 360 edition. Made by Sony. Was left for dead. It's in her 50s and through the controlling. It's going unchased. Terrible, come on. Crap. Five days on another one. I want to settle with you. I really don't want to settle with you. Especially not in this kind of run where we have to kind of min max a bit. I don't remember what your name was headed before this. Start with an N, that's all I know. Let's wait until we uh, finish this. How long until you're out of this? One hour, okay. Whoops, I actually clicked over to chat. out again. I don't like tongue affect annoying voice. Removing the tongue does, but they get a, a big penalty for removing their tongue. Um, I don't know. I don't think bionic tongue makes them not have an annoying voice anymore, though. I've not tried it, though, but I, I don't think it does. That always happens with the jade, yeah. All right, we need to get that, uh, that research done. So, Dev back on uh, research for now. Chance for a pawn to join your colony. Any pawn can do the party. Your existing pawns are not affected by the sacrifice pawns. They are affected, but it's only a minus three, which is the same as if we had banished them. So, as long as they're not friends with them. But yes, if the festival is uh, good quality, then we have a 50% chance for a joint event.
Uh, let's see. How are we doing with him? Minus 24. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're staying super low wealth, too. How's this guy doing 11.6? Eight human meat. Let's convert him first. He's getting minus 20 for that. In fact, well, we need a priest for it. Like four more days and we can try for a priest again. Samuel, 100%. Gonna die. <laughs> Dropping all the jade, yeah. Uh oh. I would have taken them as the priest. Maybe. I actually like the priest to have a mood buff. So like Sanguine, Optimus, Nudist, Mascus, something with a mood buff. Iron Will, it's gonna take them quite a while. Should have maybe uh, went with Proselytizer first. We can grab Proselytizer here in three more points. Three days to the next festival. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can get the queue working again overnight. I don't know what's... Uh Luckily, you can still join it, so that's nice. If there were 50 cannibals coming to eat you tomorrow, or you could reduce it to 20, you'd kill someone. <laughs> I don't think 20 or 50. I think you're kind of screwed either way. Just, just a little screwed, yeah. Probably, probably. Welcome. Adult back. things. Your steadfast loyalty. Aspen, I didn't need to know this. Appreciated. No. <laughs> Chores, cleaning, napping. Uh, Aspen, thank you for hanging out. Very much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your days. Your day. That sounded foreboding. Like, <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day, Aspen. Uh, stalking goats. Five months. Stalking goat. Where's my. All right, there you go. Special alert just for you, goat. goat. Thank you. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> I have another goat thing around, too. Hang on. I'm gonna say I like goats. Look at this. My uh, my wife just about every year for Christmas gets me some kind of goat gag gift or or similar. And um, I think two years ago she hid this one in the Christmas tree, deep in the Christmas tree, and I didn't notice it at all until uh, until Christmas. <laughs> Or is there piped over the house? The police are probably coming. <laughs> you see dark torches? What do they do? So dark torches are for the darkness meme. So if you have darkness as your ideology, they actually get a mood debuff for being in the light unless it's dark light. Uh, in dark light, they actually get a mood increase. So it's just a way for them to have light to be able to perform work without failing it a lot. Um... When, when you are otherwise in the darkness or using darkness. And he's not dropping at all. It's going to be a tough one. If we don't get lucky with conversion. My roof area? Yeah, I haven't fixed the roof yet, so it's just the default. Um, had this set to not be roofed or the, the animatree, that's pretty much it. 
pretty much it. All right, I'm feeling pretty good with what we have going here. So I need to just chill until we get uh, the research done. For drawing certainty. So it depends. If you have them in a really bad mood, they can have the crisis of faith which will drop them about 50%. But if they're already at 50 or lower, the crisis of faith could make them convert to a different ideology than your own. And then you have to kind of start the process over. If they're in a good mood, they changed it a few months ago. If they're in a good mood, you have a higher percent chance of converting them uh, just from the normal conversion. But yeah, we'll have to see how the actual conversion ritual goes before I, uh, before I decide to torture them at least 50% down. Wants to use some cheese now. Just the prisoner cheese. Uh. Just some prisoner cheese. <laughs> no goat play anymore. <laughs> you can't like that sound. All right. Stay within the walls. Malaria. Oh, God. Well, that's going to slow down research. Oh, no. Um, hang on. Hang on. super immune though so i think we're gonna be fine yeah it should be fine he has someone to tend to him he's not solo anymore so the map had about twelve thousand wealth so we're we've added about twelve thousand of our own how big was that last raid? Was that during a sacrifice or or not? I think we had five at one point. The Empire is still around three. Mule's gone berserk. Good luck, Mule. I don't know what you're going to do. Anyway, the big Empire raid, oh, big, it's like three. I think that was probably during sacrifice still. I bet he would even be fine if I didn't have him rest. Mule's gotten food poisoning from berries while they're berserk. Randy! <laughs> nice! Holy crap. I don't know when the last time I saw that was. Thanks, Randy. He's really trying. This has been like the best naked tribal brutality whatever you want to call it naked brutality tribal start probably i've ever had um if this was like a normal run with kill boxes and things i would i would say this one's already in the bag but probably it's it's never in the bag but is it christmas now <laughs> what's going on rimworld misses you The base configuration reminds you a bit of the melee run, yeah. Rain's inflating our wealth, yep. Yeah. Uh, 
40 70 you know still in the first one but we're still early low wealth and stuff when it gets to like medium or medium uh mid game late game it's gonna be really really hard really hard the duel of death so my late captain master pilot watch welcome in orphan waffle shots welcome back violence Uh, all right, no more bed rest. You're gonna be fine. Okay. Oh my god, we're gonna have geothermal soon. First, we need to get a noodling. That's actually crazy that we're already at geothermal too. God, oh, I love refugees. Refugees. Just love them, love them, love them. I can't believe we have... Well, we start with one naked tribal pawn and we're already at geothermal. Crazy. Uh, Sav, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Sav. Feeling better, but you're looking better. Thanks for the streams. Thank you, Sav. Some days, yeah. Some days I'm feeling a little bit better. Still not 100%, but I appreciate it. God, some of those streams during uh, Elden Ring when I was feeling like really bad, I really shouldn't have streamed, but yeah. those days are a little bit further between now, but. What's heart to the left of the priority screen? That's the um, icon for our ideology. You upgrade your occult brawler to five stars instead of your cold heart. Oh yeah, they're both really good though. I actually don't have either of those still, and they're two of my like most sought after ones, Pilot Wash, so. Uh, you can't go wrong with doing that. They're, they're both really good. Why am I feeling bad? You can do exclamation health if you want. I need to do an, an extra update on it. That one's been a couple months back now, or maybe a month back. But uh, exclamation health will explain it, the, the, bait, the start of it, if you're, if you're curious. All right, let's do it. We're looking for someone with a um, a mood increase trait, and otherwise not terrible. Whoa, Sarablo? No, <laughs> pessimist. <laughs> That's the opposite of what I need. All these gourmands are joining us. The best soundbite ever. Senpai does notice you. Enjoy your complimentary waifu and all the gasms that follow. Arn, I do notice you. Thank you for spending those 10,000 channel points. Enjoy your waifus. One of the problems with these, like, bulky pawns is it's harder to see the mood under them. <laughs> They're so big, they block, block their mood bar. How many hours in Rimworld? Uh, over 3,000. Quite a bit over 3,000 now. I don't know exactly. 3,000 and something. You know what? If we're just going to kill a mule anyway... Let's just make them the priest for now, because we don't care about them, just to get rid of that minus six on all of our people. Want to be a priest? You're already breaking down all the time anyway. I'm not even joining the festival. Can't harvest me if he uh, dies on another tile. That's true.
43%. Do it. <laughs> Alright, Mule, let's get you back on this map. You're even wearing tainted clothing. Look at you. Look at you, Mule. waiting but we should no longer yeah we no longer have that so perfect perfect right. don't be chopping the anima tree I'm watching you who am I talking to myself <laughs> I'm watching you, right hand. Don't click on that anima tree. Who would ever cut down their own anima tree that spawned in a good location? Who would do that? I don't know. One that spawned like right outside, like almost touching a mountain. Perfect location, right next to the entrance of your mountain base. Can't even get much better. Who would cut something like that down? I was talking about Yordle. Hey, that's actually our first trader, isn't it? I wasn't even thinking about that. Now they actually fixed it so it can't do that. If you if you end up seeing that on the Arco Nexus, you'll see it didn't even have the cut thing on it anymore. I had already canceled it. But someone had uh, queued up the job to do from like far away. So that really sucked. I don't really think we have anything to sell them. Still at 100%. Jeez. Alright. It's gonna be a tough one. Almost narcolepsy about two months ago. Didn't hit rim in the daytime sleep test, but still fell asleep every time. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, yep. Uh, it did nothing. So, apparently, there's about 10% of people where stimulants don't do anything. And they've tried all that on me. I was really hoping that would work on, on me, but no, I tried. They tried that, and they tried the other version of that. And all kinds of other stuff. But uh, I could act. Yeah, they didn't do anything. It was it was really annoying. Specialists couldn't, couldn't really believe it at first. They were like, all right, let's try double the dosage. Uh, and I got all the bad side effects from it, too. There was some pretty... I had to take a week off stream. I had such bad side effects on one of them. And it still wasn't doing anything. I, it wasn't doing anything. So. But. Anyway, they're trying to get me on um, a medical trial that they're doing in, uh, in Cincinnati, which is about an hour and a half away. We'll see if I can get on uh, into that trial. The downside with trials like that is that even if I got on it, it's not. I wouldn't know if I even had the actual medication, you know? I might get the placebo. No, for my um, nap test thing, like the follow-up to the sleep study, I fell asleep, but my I, I went straight into deep sleep instantly. So I have no problem sleeping. That's what the neurologist people were saying. They looked through all the stuff and it's like, you don't have a problem with sleep. It's not sleep. We don't know. It's something else. It's like, oh, thanks. Side effects, which is best. Thank you. I'm glad I worked for you. How you can have positive attitudes, still stream, put out content. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's one reason why I try not to talk about it too much on stream, other than like beginning or end, unless someone specifically asks. So I don't want, um, I don't want it to impact the stream any more than how me feeling bad already does. So, played to people with ADHD. Um, 
Yeah, so that yeah, that kind of stuff calms them. Yeah, it didn't do anything to me. It's really weird. We don't know a lot about the brain. It's like one of the medical things, obviously, that we know the least about. And so, as I was talking to multiple different specialists and whatnot, they're like, it could literally be that we just will, won't know and that nothing that we have will work. And it's like, oh, well, thanks. At least she was honest about it, but she was like, it's like, there's a possibility. <laughs> we, we just don't know. Medical knowledge hasn't advanced to figure out what's going on with your brain. Yeah, that's true, yeah. What happens if I don't sleep? It's, yeah, it's just just sleepiness on top of the exhaustion, yeah, if that makes sense. So. Blue pickle. Thank you for the host. <laughs> Heat wave. Oh no. I've been I've been skimping, but we're gonna have to We're gonna have to deal with that. But we'll just use pass coolers. It'll be fine. Uh I could get rid of this as well. During this. We'll we'll keep an eye on the heat. With two of them. Yeah, I might have to get rid of that. And we should probably put corners on this to hold in some more of the uh, the temps. So. Alright, you guys are going to be unhappy being in the dark, but... You're going to have to suck it up. Just for a little bit. Unlucky on the food poisoning. Mm, I should have Dev do that. That should keep them out of super danger range, I think. you just choose not to that was another thing too and i've talked about it a bit i don't want to get into it again but another reason why i stopped and i and i know everyone was trying to be helpful so i don't it doesn't upset me or whatever but it was kind of tiresome when um when people would ask and i would talk about it and people would like suddenly we had like doctor chat you know where there's like 30 or 40 people Posting about, have you tried this? Have you done this? Why don't you? Do and I know they're like, I appreciate it because they're being, they're trying to be helpful and they they want me to do better or whatever. Um, but it was like, literally, I had been doing these tests, talking to multiple, um, multiple specialists, multiple doctors and stuff for months. Then I would mention it, and then someone in chat would say, or multiple people would be like, um, you might should try like melatonin if you haven't tried melatonin. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. N me, my wife, everyone else, multiple doctors, multiple specialists, sleep tests, all this, and no one, no one had mentioned melatonin. It's like, <laughs> no, we've tried, and it's, it, anyway, it's not a sleep problem anyway. So, so that's one reason why I try, yeah, not to bring it up anymore, unless it's beginning of stream and end of stream as like an update. But I'm, I'm, it's nice that people uh, are trying to help and are, they care about it, but you know, it, it got pretty tiresome. Let's try some melatonin. Tried one milk. It's like. Anyway. Yeah, it, it's not a sleep issue, unfortunately. I'm licking the blue frog. I did that once and I saw a bunch of elves. I don't like elves. Never doing that again. Blue frogs aren't what make you see the elves. Beard, no. <laughs> oh, we might have a breakdown here soon. This heat wave needs to... Go away. 
We're actually sealed, right? So I don't need to do that. Uh, six more days. Get a club. See Bill. I don't have any problem falling asleep. So that wouldn't do anything either. <laughs> I know it's a joke, but... Committing a crime in front of a police station. You see rest, tase you and choke you out. No, because I have no problem sleeping or falling asleep. I don't have insomnia. How's the colony? It's been, uh, it's been a really good start, honestly. I thought I'd be dead by now. It's been such a good start. No, it hasn't saw me. I do not. Heat wave's done. No, it'd be much easier to fix if it was a sleep issue. That would be. Not. <laughs> they all have to have. <laughs> yeah. Imagery is so close to the colony. Just look for a good map, yeah. Just play lots of maps. And you'll eventually hit them with good ones. And then I just build next to them. Even when I get a run where the colony. Like, if I do a map, like a random map, and the animatory is here, I'm still going to build my base here. It's a little bit more dangerous, but I'm going to build by it. But yeah, you just gotta look for one, yeah. Yeah, no mod or anything. Uh, if you want to do mods, there are mods where you can move the anima tree. You can literally just replant it. I don't use any of the anima tree mods. I'm nothing against it. So if you want to do that, um, yeah, there are mods that just allow you to replant it like you can replant other trees. Good. No, it's nothing like that. It's not getting good at all. It's just going to lots of maps until we get a good one. So, uh, uh, we did, yeah. Animosity tree. You can dev mode it too, yeah. That's another option. A stallion done. There's actually not a lot of wildlife right now. It caps out at minus 30%. It caps out at minus 30% Psy Focus gain speed and minus 30% grass growth, grass growth speed. However, you probably spend more than that moving to the anima tree. And it's much safer and cuts way down on um, movement time. And it caps at minus 30%. You can even undo the minus 30% by putting anima stones or... Um, um, large nature shrines in there if you really want. It's higher wealth, though. Travel time is huge, yeah. Imagine it takes them three in-game hours to go out here to an anima tree and back. That's that's being generous, actually. That's more than 30% that you save here, so... Super worth. Just make sure... Yeah, it's caps out at minus 30%. Just make sure you put... Um, go into zone and then go to remove roof area. If you don't, and you build around it, they will cut the tree to build a roof. I don't care about this sacred tree. Gotta have roofs. Roofs must go up. Man, Randy attached to a bunch of raids right in a row there for a while. I was kind of worried. Now it's died down. Low second drone. That's, uh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I have to get us. He sent uh, monkeys that broke in and then uh, Empire Raiders behind the monkeys that made the hole for them. <laughs> it's like... Oh, we might have a breakdown. It's a major break too.
I already knew I couldn't force him. I don't know. Sadistic rage. All right, well, it could have been worse. <laughs> that uh, food poisoning, man. <laughs> My characters even, they're both tough. Man, now if we get attacked with a raid, that's going to be terrible. Well, yeah, we had food poisoning, so our uh, our consciousness is already pretty low. Our pain threshold, I guess I should say, shock threshold. Easy catharsis. Second drone has ended good. Mules out there living their best life. Uh, maybe not their best life. They're out there living a life. Kinda. Kinda. Leader speeches, are they worth it? They can actually be really good. Yeah, on the last run that I did, I did some leader speeches um, for mood and inspiration. As long as you have something to kind of cover it if it goes badly, they can be they can be really powerful. I think they're out there living their meh life. <laughs> no people oven, no no oven, no kill box at all. None of that. Plan for killing 200 plus tribals late game. Just a billion turrets. No, I'm going to try to, uh, without pausing, I'm going to try to break off chunks of them and kite them away while I have other people deal with them and use side casting and strong weapons and explosives. And yeah, I don't know. It's going to be really crazy to deal with. I don't know how we're going to deal with 200 tribals. I'm actually less worried about than. Uh, hundred pirates with doomsday chasing us. They won't all have doomsdays, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Squirt just joined. AoE type weapons? Kind of. I mean, there's explosives, right? There's frag grenades. There's triple rocket launchers. Doomsday rockets. Is that another Abasia? Man. Trigger happy. Oh, are you 64? Uh, anyway. And then there's... There's spray guns, right? So there's, like... The minigun, which isn't technically AoE, but there's so many missed shots that hit randomly. It died on impact. So if anyone doesn't know, there is a, um... There's kind of a, this small exploit in the game still. If you have a Abasia drop, you can actually zoom out, see where the Abasia dropped. It drops before you accept. And if you go out there and kill them, you actually do not get the m mood hit for Welcome. not accepting them. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Other old stuff. It depends. So the, the pawns can actually have these he diff things that are hidden, where, like, depending on the pawn, you can actually have them get things that you wouldn't expect very early. So you might even have a pawn get like bad back at 40. Uh, but in general, it's the 50 to 55 range. Yeah. Once they, once they get to 50, 55 every year, that's when they're at their birthday, they're going to get a higher, higher chance of getting age related crap. I say no. <laughs> Will you still need me? We still feel no. Uh, Captain, they were the seven months. Thank you, Captain. 
Very much appreciated. Love this one. No, that's your knees. You wish it was like that in real life. Yes, yeah, it's from a song. Yes, I know. I do that. You know that one. Oh, I know it's a Beatles song, yeah. One of the songs that uh, played at our wedding. Thank you for the $50 donation. Thank you, Q. Very much appreciated. I'm going to read your message after this song ends. It's almost over. I really do appreciate it. That's super kind. It's a lot of money, man. Right, close enough for reading it. I can't wait. Thanks for sharing. You have health and abundance in your life today, and onward. May your day time sleep the symptoms go, never return. Godspeed. Uh, thank you, Q. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you found something that worked for you. I really was hoping the same for mine, but uh, and thank you again. That's it's very kind. It helps me and my family out a ton, I'm sure you know. Thank you, Q. It's kind of you to say as well. Storm mask, yeah, it should be hard, yeah. Best bedroom setup, it really depends. So if you're actually using bedrooms, what I actually like to do is I still make a 13 by 13, and then I divide them up uh, our like this. Expands. Praise the sub. This is how I like to divide them up. In this size room, if you put a bed and either flowers, like literally just grown in there, or decent flooring, you can get a mood buff out of this and it takes up very little space. But I usually do really high colonist number runs where wealth and space are, are at a premium. Um, if you want to have an easier time getting the mood buff from a, a bedroom, uh, what I used to do, so these ones, again, you can do 13 by 13, split it at the seven mark, these rooms are five by five interior and they're very easy to get to like plus two plus three mood early game you can just use whatever you have to get to get there um to get a mood boost and then later on you can put better flooring in uh, for more beauty more value uh, another strong thing with this is to make the walls that touch multiple rooms later on be jade so for instance this center right here if you make that a jade wall the wealth from that jade wall and the beauty actually will impact all four rooms. So you get more bang for your jade buck that way. So that's typically what I do under those two setups. Either the uh, the 3x5 interior or 5x5, five five, depending on how many pawns I'm going to run with in that one. Stage of the game, that kind of stuff. So Johnny Tight Lips. <laughs> they were the subscription. Thank you, Johnny. Much appreciated. Uh, much love to Johnny. And to Q, of course. Wait a minute. 
Thank you, Is this the first Yayo of the run? Maybe we'll see our first mechs. I need to get EMPs. Just trying to get to mortars. We don't have EMP. You want to say it? <laughs> Did a ton of value off the stream of the YouTube? I'm glad, yeah. 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 Like, like I said, I know that's like a drop in a bucket to some people, but it's uh, it's a lot of money to me, so I, I really appreciate it. No, it doesn't. But when this song came out, when Royalty came out, and the developers have this tendency that when they come out with a new thing, it starts out that the frequency is way higher than it should be. It's happened in both of them. So when Royalty first came out and Met Clusters, which were worse at that time, were brand new, the frequency was very high. And the song was newly added with Royalty also, and it played a lot. So it kind of coincided a strange amount of times and multiple people noticed it and ended up making the connection, even though there isn't really. It's a, it's a, it's a correlation type thing. But, so it became like, you hear this? Met cluster is coming. <laughs> Can I, we do another one of these? I really okay. We can already do it. Let's go for it. Deny the power of Yayo. We're looking with so for someone with a uh, mood increase or just a really good pawn. Terrible. Being pretty specific early. Correlation does equal causation. Everyone knows. <laughs> If you guys looked at some of those correlation graphs, they're always pr pretty awesome. It's it's there's some really weird ones out there. I think there used to be a website that would match them, all these uh, statistics or whatever. God, I feel like that was a thing, and you could find things that were like the number of ice cream cells correlating with like civil wars breaking out in third world countries or weird stuff like that. And it's like what? Uh, it's like identical the graphs. Now, obviously, there's uh, there's other factors that make it, but you can you can play with them and make it just about whatever you want. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. I remember to go back to that. It's a lot of fun. It makes perfect sense. I don't see the issue. It's like number of pumpkin lattes sold directly correlate with the number of deadly crashes in Iowa or something. It's like what? Yeah, that one, yeah. That one's good. <laughs> oh, Dev Light, I got some bad news for you. Or do I? Devlight, like, you like that refugee? What if I force her to live with us forever? Oh yeah, the Mark Twain quote, yeah. I tried to, excuse me, convert the refugee. She was not having it. New lovers. Lattes makes you evil. <laughs> yeah, the drowning in swimming pools versus the success of a Nick Cage movie. Yeah. Some of the ones I remember, yeah. 
Randy can't afford a mech cluster right now. If he hit us with a mech cluster, he'd have like one or two mechs. Please explain the pawn outside of your base. Oh, this one? Uh, this one is just there to haul off wealth when we have too much wealth. They have enough planting skill, plant skill, that they can feed themselves forever on berries. So they are parked out here so they're not causing... It. They're not a pawn that I want. So they're parked out here so they're not causing any wealth or raid points. And then when we have stuff for them to go trade for us, bring them in, load them down, send them on a trade mission, bring them back, and then park them outside the map again. Oh yeah, it's the high priest also, isn't it? It's our priest. They're out there fasting. They're learning enlightenment. Cracked their sternum. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. It's not convert. So, uh, another kind of benefit of this, because they have high enough to where they're getting... See, days of food are unlimited. If we go in, um, they are building up berries while they're here too. So... Over time, if we leave them there long enough, they will get hundreds and hundreds of berries. And if we ever have a food shortage on the map, let, let's say there's, um, I don't know, there's a fire burns out all of our rice down there. I can bring them in, just dump hundreds of berries, and then send them back out. So it's a nice little emergency fund that we have set up inside the base. Spread the good word. <laughs> I guess I should have left one of those in here. All right. We really went through the wood in here when uh, we needed. When we had that heat wave, we had to use like three um, of the passive coolers. Oh, Squared, how could you make North do this? Sound goods. We don't really have anything to sell them. Uh, looks like it's festival time. Hey, refugee, get up! Or bed rest. Or a comic would be interesting. That would be. Feel pretty safe. Pretty safe for those guys here, so. Come on. Brad your coffee. How big do I typically make the outer wall? Oh my lord. On a flat map. So what I like to do is, it depends on the map a little bit, but typically I will think about how my base is gonna be. And then I put the outer wall generally about 20 to four, 24 tiles away. So that I can have an 18 tile long uh, kill box basically all around the base for sappers and things like that. And so however big that ends up being some runs that's really big like we'll have a, a base like this but I also try to really think about movement time speed time to get to areas so I try not to make the outer wall too crazy because going out there and building it going out and repairing it going outside of it you know whatever I don't want it to take a ton ton of time Well, that's kind of such a good combo. Okay. 
Think about Song of Conquest. Do you have some tips? So, Song of Conquest, I've really liked so far. We've only done the first three missions, though. Uh, I've got two of them up on YouTube. The third one should be up there tonight. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's early access, so you have to keep that in mind. So, it might not be super balanced. Might not have a ton of content right now. But the content that I've played so far feels really good. Uh, if you have, like, a specific one of those first three missions where you need some tips on, um, definitely can answer that with what I know. I'm not an expert at the game so far. One thing I would say, though, that helped me, especially in the third mission, is to have one of your wielders stay in basically the town, build up the army on them until they got, like, a full stack, and then have one of your side wielders with basically no army just go around and collect stuff. That helped me quite a bit, like not caring if they die or not and just sending them off to like get gold and stuff like that. Not even to fight anything, but just explore, get gold, get, um, you know, resources. Cause the resources come back to you instantly. No, it's not, we won't count them all. But, uh, asking you to lend one colonist for burden. No, I'm not doing that. Anyway, so that helped out quite a bit. I'd also say that um, having a, it's, it's pretty obvious, I guess, but try not to like go all in on one unit type. When I tried to do that in the fourth mission, um, was that a strategy in, in here? Yeah, I've never played it. Yeah, that's interesting. Is that a strategy in Heroes? Yeah, I've never done that. It's just something I, I was doing on my own. Um, anyway. Um... Another thing that I screwed up with, like when I finally got access to Fey units in the fourth map, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I can give them mule. It's true, but then we are, well, I don't know how it would impact the moral guide thing. Anyway, um, I was like, I'm gonna try out all these Fey units. I just made an entire army of Fey units, and then we ran into some really strong range, and they just destroyed us, but. Slow learner. I hate slow learner. Um, hang on. We can give him Zack for now, and then he comes back and kill him. Which one was it? Oh, it's a literary at the top. Sorry, North. <laughs> That's in, in Rim Worlds. In Rim Worlds. <laughs> this is how these quotes go in the comeback to bite me. Sure. See us, Sacrazek. I keep forgetting to drop this crap while I'm gone. Oh. Oh, and while you're here. Get up. I think if I shoot by them, it'll wake them up like it does with animals. <laughs> oh, wow. 2%. It worked. 
happy out there eating berries as well. No, they they have lots of breakdowns, but it's all right. Have another festival up. Let's do it. I'm taking bedroll. Oh, yeah. Oh well. They're right there. All right. I don't care if they break down. They're not real people. Uh, we can reform our ideology, so we're going to go ahead and do that and just pick up um, Proselytizer. We might get rid of it later, but uh, yeah, it's going to really help with these early converts. So Proselytizer, uh, make sure all this is the same. It's bigotry, frequent. Looks all the same. Early on, this would actually change. You'd have to redo some of this almost every time. Uh, Alright. There we go. Now we should be able to convert them a little bit faster. So we're a supremacy, a supremacist and proselytizer. It's, uh, it's a bad mix, IRL. In Rimworlds. Do what you gotta do. Okay, so, man, Rainy hit us a lot really close together, and now he hasn't hit us in a while. Shouldn't say that, probably, but. Yeah, look at that. We had four almost overlapped right there. Psychic Soothe, very nice. Very nice. So, she dropped. Man. This is going to be really hard. We might have to give up on his. Because he... Not only is his um, ideology hard to break, but he's also iron-willed. I only have four on social. Um... You know what, we'll replant that if your mood gets bad, but we got other things we need to do. How late today? Um, oh, it's already five. I was planning on stopping at five, but uh, I don't know, what do you think? You ready for me to get off here and make dinner? I kinda would like to end on a raid, at least. So let's, let's stream until the next raid. <laughs> That's dangerous. That could be in uh, two minutes or two hours. We need a banana at the moment. So you don't need dinner right away. Yeah, next raid. Right as the raid starts. <laughs> Tune in next time to see if we survive. At least we're getting social off this junk. Mm. Alright, so, any other bad event doesn't count? <laughs> any non-animal enemy? 300 waves of bad animals again? Yeah, that's what I was thinking.
You know what's gonna suck with this uh, no kill box thing? If we make it pretty easily because of how amazing the early game was to mid game and then we just flat out die in the first big raid. That happens, we'll probably start the next one on, uh, on tribal to just get there faster. Who you knows the worst thing to throw your way? It's a never ending stream. Might be on to something. All right, zero days. So we're looking for just really good pawns. We're looking for tough, for trigger happy, and mood increase type things. Those are the big ones. In general, those are good, but some of them are no friggin' way. <laughs> well, look what you've done! Boom rat. <laughs> that doesn't count as a raid. All right, well, we had an event. Now we need a raid on top of that, and the boom rats just uh, roll in, baneling into them. Well, I guess we're going to wait on this now. Spaceship. It's, uh, it's not too far away. I thought it was further than it was. <laughs> well, can't finish the geothermal. So we can go out and mine some more. Right now, there's some, uh, there's some banelings outside. Times make it a battle of endurance, yeah. Psychic Soothe is over. So, animal attacks are actually going to be easier in this no kill box run. Because we're not going to have an opening into our base. Uh, Welcome back. Like ever. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly uh, appreciated. No, I'm still, I'm still never certain if I get your name right. And I know I've said that before as well. Uh, Snaw Snaw. Day for the four months. Very much appreciated. Glad you are still around. Thank you. Another ship chunk? All right, Randy. Animals and ship chunks. Down to 71. What is your social? I'm not asking you guys. Don't give me your social. A zero. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Three, five, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Roughly a one. <laughs> what is this? You guys have jinxed it. <laughs> There's two mad animal events on the map at the same time. Free social, but no passion. <laughs> You're lucky they dropped you in here, Zach. Not that I care. I didn't say that because I killed him. I said that, well, I actually kind of... I didn't want to witness the death. This is a mood, an extra mood hit if you witness it. They just die, even though you're the cause of it. If you don't see it, it's not as bad, but... Witness the ally's death, so an extra minus five for just two days. Oh, there's visitors on the map taking them out. Nice. Good job, Gumpy, Chili, and Thomas. So wait, there were angry hares, guinea pigs, and boom rats all at the same time? No, okay. Just like in real life. Uh... 
Probably true, to an extent. I would know, though. Look at all those weird capitalizations in your name. Lie. A son's hine. <laughs> Where did you do that? Did I ask you about that before? I had to, like, do a double take to make sure I was seeing that right. <laughs> You've never lost a death blow. That's actually crazy. All right. The next major event is a raid. I mean, I don't know that, but I hope so. I need some uh, human leather. Mike, hmm. I gotta be careful spreading. This. I'm kind of spread too thin already, but I was gonna say I could start going. Uh, I could go ahead and start growing drugs. That would give us a real leap forward uh, in trade and whatnot. But how are you with mining a one? How about you guys? Three, two. How about you, mule? Let me click the right thing. A nine pa and passionate. Hmm. Mule, you want to come in uh, mine some steel real quick? And you can go back out. I'll take your silence as a yes. Yeah, I thought I remembered asking. You switched up again and randomized it things fresh and funky you're so fresh and funky work mule work yeah mules a little bit faster at this I would say just a little bit Integrate it into the next major world update. HUD plus and research ones need to be part of vanilla. Uh, I know, so I know the HUD plus one is very helpful, but I actually don't, I don't, I don't like it. When I even use mods, even quality black mods, I don't use it. There's some very good mods like that. And for all, uh, you know, I should probably like them, but yeah, I don't care for it. Just like the mini map. Mini map is incredibly strong and I like mini maps. I play a lot of RTS. I really like mini maps and those obviously. For whatever reason, I just don't like the mini-map. I don't know why. Malnourished. All right, mule. I'll let you eat and you can go back out. All right, get out. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So I'll just have to deal with whatever they had. Or mud. Yeah. Just I I don't I don't know. Gameplay mask is that's why maybe yeah. competitive world out there. <laughs> There's a whole world of competitive freshness. Men and women from across the planet gathering to compete to see who's the freshest. No, that's your typo. Don't wow me. I told you. He hits hard. I forgot to go fix it. <laughs> and you're like, I heard get. And then I went back to make sure and it was hit. Hang on. I'm writing this freaking thing down this time. <laughs> what quotes? 4183. 4183. Before Granny ends up reading that. You want that on your consciousness? That is the one you put in, yeah. Do you remember that? Where you're like, well, I heard... I heard git. And then someone else said, I heard git also. Who was that? <laughs> you were the only one here that could do it. 
Don't go changing quotes. Man, this guy is smooth as a kin doll. That's what happens when people are raised by other cowboys instead of their mothers. Great granny summon. Thank you for using your channel points on that. Uh, mod wife. <laughs> Excellent. Alrighty. How... <laughs> Well, we're going to have geothermal on a naked tribal start. Well, neighbor tally start tribal research with only two pawns. So. Uh, it's a little overkill, but better overkill than underkill. I actually do always say now, apparently. There we go. Out of there. Uh, how much steel's left over there? Two twelve. Modest fellowship expands. Raise the sub. <laughs> uh, and Turnica, and Turnica. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Very much appreciated. Counts name as a tier one sub. I've heard sometime. Thank you. Yeah, you found a sticky notes with quote numbers on it. It was last updated in 2019. Let's find out what they are together. All right, this should be interesting. What, you found a post-it note from 2019? Thank you, Antonica. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching over there. Which run are you on, out of curiosity? Is it bad for wealth this early on? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I actually thought I would, I would have more pawns by right now, but... Oh, yeah, on Windows, okay. Quote 103. Oh, that was a misfire. Okay, okay. Transhumanist episode 2. Transhumanist run was a lot of fun, yeah. It's a good one. I like that run. Quote 1031. You know my first instinct when I see a child is to try to kill it. Why did you save that? I don't know why I say things. <laughs> Sometimes my wife will see a quote in here and she literally says something like, you sure do say a lot of things. You sure do say some stuff. When someone goes on an insulting spree, do I just arrest them? Yes. Quote 1045. Let's not start peddling human flesh here at the stream. That was because of breaks, food. There's actually a benefit to keeping the other stove in case power's out, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, did, was that one tile? Oh, he didn't finish it. I was going to say, is that one tile too short, but he didn't even... There we go. Didn't do the work. Too much flagellating going on. Trying as hard as I can to steal this thing's child. <laughs> what is that? Don't starve together. I pooped the files out. Always knew New York was located in hell. That it was full of fire giants. Why is the reset button right next to my D? Oh man, that bounty. The pumped BMX bounty. Yeah, I remember that. That was funny. So yeah, we're just biding our time right now. Um, getting some research done at low wealth while we wait for some good columnists. If anyone's wondering kind of why we aren't building and expanding, 
especially with this kind of playthrough. Um, we're just uh, kind of waiting, waiting for the moment. Yeah, that's kind of funny, Soul, yeah. The BMX game, that was, yeah. It's fun, we're playing Sierra of War. Sekiro of Boy. I actually played God of War after Sekiro, huh? I guess that makes sense. All right, how much longer on one of these? Seven days, jeez. Refugee, are you getting pretty close? Just about 50% of the way. Okay. Hmm. I could go ahead and start working on converting the walls. It's going to be more wealth, but I mean, it's it's going to be very important to do in the long run. But I I got to be careful. I don't want to go too fast with too few pawns without, with this no kill box stuff and get get smacked, you know. So I think I'll just wait. Would really like another raid, not only for like the human leather and stuff to trade, because we really do need to trade uh, and get some things like we really need an EMP grenade. Uh, we really need a smoke launcher. Um, several things like that that we really, really need. So I could plant some other things like drugs or even Devil Strand. Devil Strand is going to take a long time to get in anyway. Maybe we have some pawns by the time uh, it's in. But also, we need prisoners to try to get some more good colonists. Okay. And Dev has just been annihilating this research. They are at 20 because of fast learner burning passion. What did he start out at? Like eight? I didn't realize he was at 20 already. Jesus. Way to go, Dev. Getting rid of that tri uh, tribal stigma. Tribals are stupid. They research so slowly. I'll show you. Holy crap, Dev. I mean, I did say I was going to strap him to a research table. Uh, <laughs> so, that worked out. We could start converting the base into actual marble, which would be a good idea. That wouldn't add too much wealth either. Uh, downside is, if we start doing it in here the current prisoner cheese that we're using is going to fail, but 49 Mule, let's have you come in for a conversion Let's just go ahead and get this refugee converted. It'll be much easier. They're kind, so they convert very easily. How before? Oh, before which one caps? Sorry. Fernando, I want to sing your name. <laughs> they're mating, and then after, they're eating dog meat. <laughs> the Rim Worlds. Ineffective? Oh, no. That sucks. Get back out. Oh, yeah, he caps at 20. Yeah, my bad. Yep, skills cap at 20. And it's very hard to have someone stay at 20 skill normally. Uh, it falls off really quickly unless they're, like, always doing it. But fast learner, great memory, burning passion, those things can really help, um, help with it. Like, if we had dev stop researching for a long time it would fall to about 16 or 17 actually pretty quickly it falls pretty 
be hard. There was some mods for that. Um, it's a mod we used to use for that a long time ago. I think it's called Mad Skills or something like that, where you can change the decay or even turn decay off. Pushing for the new Fusion Guide raid, I am. However, Metallo, I wanted uh, a decent HP based champion. I don't have any. And then when I was opening uh, a couple shards last night, I opened two shards to get the fragments. And I got a legendary. I get Maul Shold or Shold or whatever the name is. And then I also got, um, what's his name? Uh, the Magnar guy. So I don't, uh, yeah, I posted both. I opened two shards, got a legendary, and then one of the best epics in the game. I'm so lucky pulling shards in that game. It's ridiculous. I'm free to play. I've never spent money on raid. And I have some, I'm getting close to 20 legendaries in like 250 days of playing. It's crazy. I, I don't know why I'm so lucky on that game. Mall Shoulder, whatever his name is, and Magnar. And I only pulled two. <laughs> pull your shards. <laughs> I could do that, actually. Streamers do that. Wish you weren't Gourmand. Hey, Saucy Wogwin. It's the entire streams. It's all good. Streamer luck, even when I'm not streaming. Yeah. What if I park outside their base and every time we get full of berries, I just give it to them? How many berries for one point of rip? Uh, it would take a long time to get 16 rep off berries. Let's go on cannon fodder. Welcome in. I will be doing an hour of raid tomorrow at the end of stream, yep. And uh, I don't know. How do, the, how do those people go about opening shards on others' accounts? Do they just open it? Do they log into their account using, like, blue stacks or something? I guess if you have a Plarium ID, you can just give me the information. Yeah, it has to be passed through account, yeah. Definitely won't be stealing any accounts. I have enough. Uh, you can't like you can't take anything from an account. So, uh, whoops. How's the raid recruitment event going? So, if anyone would like to help, we're not going to meet the top goal unless a lot of you go do it right now. Uh, it would be amazing, but we're doing a sponsorship right now that lasts to the end of day tomorrow. We are seven people off from hitting the minimum. So, if I have seven people download and make a new account. And through the link at Exhibition Raid, uh, before the end of day tomorrow, seven new accounts, I will get paid something. Uh, if we hit the top end, though, it will pay my mortgage next month, uh, which would be amazing. But yeah, if you want to help out, you go to Exhibition Raid. Uh, you can get the game free on your PC through that or on your phone. Uh, the tutorial takes less than five minutes. It really does if you just click through. If you still like the game after that, let me know. We have a clan set up. We have a Discord channel set up. If you want to do it, just help out the channel. Um, it's actually huge, huge help. Uh, you can use, you can't use a new player link, but you can use a new player uh, code. So if you sign up using my link for the tracking and you get in and you redeem a promo code, you can redeem whatever promo codes, even new player codes. Mine isn't code based, it's link, the tracking link. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you for downloading it, yeah. Thank you, T. Oh, I just want another pawn, and I want to raid. I know. So, did I tell you what happened? So, you know how the graphic kept screwing up? It would disappear. Uh, every time someone would sign up, it would disappear, and I'd have to go in and manually do it, and it would play the sound really loud, and I couldn't control the sound. I would mute it, and somehow it would still play. Very weird. I've never had any problems with that. I emailed them about it, and I've never had... I've done pro, um, promotions through this company before, and I emailed them about it, and they sent me what... I don't even know. It, it felt like a canned response, like a copy and paste. But it wasn't even the same issue. So I emailed them and I was like, this is what's happened to this. It's disappearing. And they were like, 
They reply and they're like, oh, if the number is not updating when someone downloads it, it might mean they already had an account or that they did it on the wrong link. And I'm, and I'm like, it's counting. It's just the graphic disappears and it, even when it's gone, it blares this loud music in our ears. But anyway, I, I told them I corrected what they thought the problem was. Well, I replied telling them again, that's not the issue. Two star. They haven't heard back. Thank you, Cannon Fodder. Sig didn't thank you. Language barrier? I don't I don't think so. This is not through raid. Raid is in Ukraine. This is through uh, stream elements, which oh maybe, I don't know. I don't know where stream elements is actually based. So yeah, it's not player game at all. It's uh stream elements is the one that's doing the sponsorship. They're the middlemen. All right, we need to get the uh, barracks quality back up again. Plarium is in Euro Ukraine, yep. Yep. Crushing that tutorial. If there is a chance you're going to continue playing raid, start with Kale. When you get the choice between your four starters, pick the Dark Elf Kale, just in case you might want to play. If you're 100% no, you're not going to play anymore. It doesn't matter, but he is the best starter. Man, we're just knocking out tons of research while we're waiting on this. I mean, what else are we going to do? Go and choose the opposite. They're all good, but yeah, Kale's the best one. I'm literally still using him in the highest level clan boss you can get. In fact, I got another... I got a gold shard yesterday morning and today for free from the clan boss, and I used Kale in that. Did I look at Path? I did. I'm not going to have time to play it. I did look at it. I looked at it longingly. Pull legendary yet. It's owned by yeah, it's it's owned by literally a gambling company. They do give you all the percentage odds on it. So and I don't I don't spend anything on it anyway, so Path is overtuned like crazy at the moment. Someone else is talking about that too. We've had like a hundred plus death just going through the acts. <laughs> Randy, attack me. We've had the last few things just been animals. Well, thank you for doing the uh, tutorial either way, bingo. As long as you get through the tutorial, that helps out a ton. Through that link specifically. Nick. Hey, Nick. It's been a little while. Welcome back. They made some adjustments last night because of it. All right, here we go. Recruit, please. Unforgettable, but we didn't get a recruit. It sucks. Refugee, how close are you? Still a while. account if you go to the link and you make a brand new account it should still work yeah because people do make alt accounts as well like i have two accounts i play on both of them one of them less than the other but uh quite a bit of people that play end up having like one account as their main that they might spend some money on and then a free to play account and both of those ended up counting so it should still count as long as it's a new account yeah and specifically through that link Thank you, Vitalin. Oh, I said I was going to play until Randy raided me, and he's just not doing it. After that, like, four in a row earlier, he's tapped out, I guess. You got Ellie. She's fine, too. All the starters are fine, but if you really want to get head start and get one that you can use forever uh kale is the way to go like i said i'm still using kale for uh my boss. the thing is you can end up getting all the other ones as well 
Like, you'll get them all in blue shards over time anyway, but... but. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, clan boss is where you get... Clan boss is how you get the best things of the game for free. So that's where you want to get to on any, any account. Like, it's the best thing. It, so, a good example is, like, yesterday, the crap I got from running clan and it's a daily thing the stuff i got from clan boss had i bought that in the shop with real money would have been over 50 dollars i'm not gonna buy that for 50 dollars so i said no way especially not when i can just beat the highest level clan boss and get it almost every day so pump those numbers up <laughs> what kind of scenario you can do exclamation run and it will uh go over it a little bit all right, almost festival day again. The good news is we're actually getting up to our... Yes, a raid! We're going to prepare for a while. All right. We still have the sacrifice going, so it's not going to be a huge raid. And we only have two people. Uh, It's tribal. Two... So four tribals. Okay. <laughs> this is in a fight. All right. Uh, Chemical Fascination Undergrounder. Look at that otherwise, though. Industrious Great Memory. Why are you 60 years old? That's such a good combo. It might be worth taking them anyway. Wow. They'll die. If I want them, they'll die. Ugly undergrounder. Jealous doesn't matter. Good fighter. So if that one survives, we might actually take it. Okay. Um... We don't have any, like, um, people to run out and melee block them right now, so we're going to have to straight up fight. Okay. Yeah, you have to play through the tutorial for it to count. Yep. You have to make a new account, play through the, play through the tutorial. It takes, it's literally like less than five minutes if you don't read all the stuff. Just click everywhere the Arbiter tells you until she stops telling you to click places. You did it. Um, Let's see. We just had some... Uh, Yun did it, Sakurita. Thank you two for doing so. Yeah, it pops up over here after someone's completed it. Yeah, chain shotguns are really, really good in a normal playthrough. In this, though, they're not really great for kiting, which we're going to have to do a lot of. Oh, I, I really hate that it's raining. That's really unfortunate. We don't have the double doors set up yet, either. Here lives. <laughs> Are you gonna die? Eight hours.
Uh, which character? Uh, Kale, the uh, dark elf guy. Kale, the one that starts with a K. Yeah, three. Uh, all three lived, and then one ran away. <laughs> Any bad, uh, it's a little older than I want, but Crate Memory Industrious is so good, though. He's going to get some health issues later, but hopefully by then we can replace whatever part goes bad. Friggin' Refugee. We can get some medical experience on them. I could also execute. Well, never mind. Ah, screw it. They're dead before I get there. So, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. But. Well, uh, I said I was going to play until we got a new raid. That one was actually smaller. That raid was smaller than the ones earlier. But we did reduce some wealth by sending Mule out with stuff, and I think we had three or four colonists sitting on the map when that happened. And we've had a recent sacrifice, so... Not too bad. Um, that combat command... Pretty nice as well. Alright. Uh, first day of this no-kill box run in the... in the books. In the bag. Let me go ahead and get... out of this before anything else happens, and then I will stop the recording, and I'll tell you guys when the next time you can see this run is. Spoilers, it's tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, so that went really well. So that's, um, for anyone that's just coming in, we're doing a 500% 500, 500 no pause, losing is fun. We started as Naked Brutality, set to Tribal, so one Naked Pawn with Tribal Research. Um, no kill boxes or anything like that. Fluid Ideology. But yeah, this, uh, this Rimworld playthrough is going pretty well. We actually had an incredible early start. Uh, we betrayed the Empire, they immediately came, or not immediately, but soon after came to attack. We downed them and, and took recon armor off of them and recon helmet and assault rifles early game. Crazy start.